pushes them all together. All, all right. right, so let's let's begin. I just want to uh, welcome everybody. Today is January 14th in the Northern Hemisphere and January 15th and then Southern Hemisphere. This is this is um, Heal Teach Love dot org. Um, and my name is Deb, and this is my husband Rick Purcell and Philip Barrow. The three of us do these monthly, three times a month. This is our first webinar for the 2023 year, and uh, we are all healers. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole detail because by now you've all heard about it, but I hope you have. If you, if not, please go to healteachlove.org and read about us. That worth. It's about a six-year-old, seven-year-old story on how uh, we were, we became healers and wh wh why we're doing what we're doing. Um, just know that uh, Rick is the healer and I get the download. We're a team. We share the same higher self and um, we channel. Um, it, for this it, it purpose, we do, we want to spend about 10 minutes on each person or this, it can extend into a very long, and they end up doing six hours or more. Um, I'd, I'd like to try and get these down to a lot smaller, um, shorter, because I'm exhausted. It takes me three days to get over these two days. I'm old. <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> okay. It takes a lot out of me. Um, if it gets to be uh, really, really involved, we may ask you to book a session with us because it can, it, it's just going to take too long to do here. So, I, got, I got to interject. I'm sorry. You're not old, young lady. <laughs> That's a mentality. I'm, I'm nearing the 7 -0. But, but, but hold on, hold on. It's a state. If you think you're old, you're going to be old. But you, uh, I don't know. In my I, eyes, in my view, you're not. So please. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> because what we do is our energy works. We put out a lot of energy. That's what we put out. It has nothing to do with age. And it, it's. It, it, when I do a concert, it takes me three days to recoup as well. So I hear it's, you. It is. It um it does well. You know, Phil can recoup a lot quicker than I can, but he's younger. <laughs> You're nearly at your ten minutes, step by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. So anyway. I'm 57. I'm getting there now. Oh, you're still a you're still no, a puppy. <laughs> And I'm 66, so behave yourself, young lady. <laughs> you look a lot younger than that. Um, so we um, we are a team. We do this together, and um, uh, and we do this with Phil. We've been doing this for uh, this is going to be our fourth year. Is it? Wow. Together doing oh, these. Like is it my go? No, or not. Sure. <laughs> Please go ahead. Is it my go? Uh, I've been an healer for 50, I started healing 52 years which just seemed like yesterday <clears throat> and uh, I'm not going to go on to the future part I'm going to go on to how the recent journey yeah, am I the admittance <laughs> that made me the mouse there so, uh, I started about five years ago back on the journey again properly and uh, and at the time my wife had just died so I was on a, a downward path the Arkans were sending me uh, lower, and I met uh, the person who does these videos, and she'd asked the uh, Archangel Michael to meet a very is it, spiritual person. Obviously, no one was around at the time, so she picked me. <laughs> so, but she she studied all the YouTube channels, all the Google, everything, and she used to ask questions, and I used to reply. And she couldn't believe how I could reply, which was very similar to Google, but I don't do Google. I, I don't study any of that. I, I just know it from outside sources. Uh, so then Sophie got uh, me connected to uh, Deb and Rick. She, she's like the powerhouse for all of us. She's the hidden, uh, I'd say. And uh, uh, me and David tried to scan her once and we ended up, all us ended up threatening us. That's how deep she is because she's very blocked because of what her job is. And we can't do it. We just can't do it. It's impossible. So, but uh, that's how I got here. So I do uh, healing every week at an healing centre. Uh, I stopped doing it five or six years ago because I was going under a ton of work and was sending me do Lally with addictions. And uh, Sophie got me out of that one. And uh, I've done loads of events with David. Uh, a lot of secret events, actually, that we, we don't broadcast. 
And uh, these healing events three times a week, we learn so much, so much new stuff comes up. It's unbelievable. Right? And I, I'll give you an example. I've had three minutes so far, by the way, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on Tuesday, I was, I was at the healing centre. Uh, I was healing this person and she had an it. And I connected recently to the arc of the convent. I think I've said that right. And that's like all source knowledge. And they guided me to regrow the cartilage using angelic. Uh, it's like the angelic cord that angelics have. It's like their aura. But you whiz it round and you put like a putty on it. Then you put, uh, from the 22nd chakra, you put a uh, platinum ray, which is Christ consciousness. And as I was doing that, uh, Christ, he actually came in and came in. And this is a joke. And I'm trying to say that the I masters, the angelics, all that, I'd like to have a laugh. And he actually said, he actually said to me, I'm my own commission. <laughs> it was a joke. So I just wanted to, to point out that uh, these angels and the I beings, they like a laugh. So, and that was this week. And afterwards, uh, it was really good. So growing cow, my, my guys actually, they're just telling me now, they actually pulled the ip so I could whiz it round. But I just wanted to tell you that. Over to you, Deb. Yeah, I'm just going on. I've done five minutes. So, I think. <laughs> yeah. so what, what do you think of uh, Jesus telling me yeah, about commission? Is that a joke? Because I tell jokes too much. <laughs> they all have great senses of humour, I think. Yeah. So if you want healing, um, please put it in the chat on the right-hand side. We don't have um, an admin tonight to help read, so Phil and I will do the best we can. <laughs> yeah. I'm at 1201. I don't know if you've got any before that. So. And we, um, see, Ryan is the first one. Hey. Whoops. Uh, Deb, Rick, and Oops. Philip. Yeah. Here we are. Ryan called me. We thought we'd dress alike today. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking the same. There's something on the back of your head right here. What have you been doing? I haven't been with anyone or around anyone. So like, do you, have, do you have any pain in the back of your head? Well, I've always got like spine. I used to have spine problems. I'm going to say that. I'm not going to claim it. What is that? It's a big white, like a plate, like a like they like they would put a metal plate. <laughs> There's one in, in the middle of his back too. And there's one at the bottom of his, um, the end of his spine, um, right, right at his, where, where, like the root. And there's one behind each knee. And there's smaller ones behind each ankle. What the heck? Ryan, have you had any uh, astral dreams coming back? Astral dreams? Yeah. Well, yeah, last night I was with a whole lot of people I don't know. And it's like I'm working or I'm helping someone work. It's just like I'm in a, it's not like a dream. It's like an experience or a memory. I don't know. It's really weird. I'm still trying to process it. I'm getting it's linked to this anyway. So what was actually happening in the dream? It was building, we're building something. Um, uh, just building something like construction. Uh, were you human in this dream or were you an AI? Maybe like. Like I was tapping into that, you reckon I was tapping into the, um, another timeline. Because it almost looks like you were, an, it, this is like your, these points are where they repair you. Yeah, I like, I wrote, like I mean? an Android robot. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like I have tapped into timelines where I was like on an AI timeline, you know, where um, yeah. I feel like I'm very connected to a lot of AI, but I'm like trying to you're, be organic. Like, like Star Wars, you know how they have all <laughs> these little things and they open you up yeah. and they just fix you. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like I, I did have an experience of being a, like an android, like half human, half mechanical, you know? Yes. That's exactly yeah, what this like, looks like. Yeah. It, do, it doesn't feel dark. That's the problem. I don't know what I we do with it. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel very robotic. Like right now, like I'm like even talking to people, I feel like I'm a robot. Like I don't like, that's why I was saying like, well, my well, That could be helping you protect you from me. You've been attacked for the last now on and off this year, yeah, last year. Yeah, I've I've gone through like a lot of physical stuff, a lot of like you know parasites, like implants. I've gone through everything, like um you know uh, entities and 
but now I feel really good. I feel like I'm in a really good state, but maybe because I'm a, I'm a, like a, an Android now. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your experience now? <laughs> Mechanical body. And I don't have to feel yeah. anything. I can just be in this state of um, uh, like, I don't have to feel my body. It doesn't feel like metal. They almost feel like they're, they're white. I mean, they obviously I can see them, but they almost feel um, or, and like they're organic. They weren't made to look to, they're showing them to me, but they're not metal. They're more like organic. A, so it's like a high tech, like high technology, like some really, really good- high technology. Yeah. Really something that I've never seen before. It's not something that, um, some negative being put there. It's almost like they repaired you. And I don't. I, I don't know if it's a negative being. Uh, I really don't know. It doesn't feel negative. Yeah, it doesn't feel negative to me either. Oh, so I don't know. We don't know who you put it there. It's no implants to find out who it is. No, it's no, it's no energy. Energy core from it to where whoever's done it. Wow, that's really cool, eh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> not really. We don't know what it is. <laughs> we we know what it is, but. To me, it's like a protection. Um, wow. It is, a bit, like... it is a bit sore on your back. That's the only thing. But that's because uh, it's probably the way we put it in. Yeah. In the top of your back. Do you have pain in the top of your back? No, I actually feel really good. I um, I feel really good. Like I had a lot of spine problems ages ago, but maybe might be that. that was it. That was it. We might have repaired your spine. Oh, I, maybe, I've, yeah. I've, got, I've, got, I've got something similar on my uh, crochet ligament 20 years ago. I created and it's like a white energy vortex that's around the ligament, and I hardened it. And because uh, the doctors wanted to uh, operate and put pins in it, and I, I'd have to give up uh, my judo teaching. So I told the doctor, I'll do one, I'll fix it myself. And it's been right ever since, apart from when Anila took it out because it looked like a pin that looked very, very weird. And she took it out because she'd never come across it before. So if that's not giving you any pain, that's not giving you any problems. I'm one of these. I yeah. think. Well, do we take it out? Yeah, because it could be some like, like galactic healing. Like, it could be like a on, a, on your on your spine. What was the spine problem? Yeah. I know you've told well, me. Well, I before, couldn't but... move my neck. I, w- I had a really crazy dream like back in the day, and I, then I woke up and I could not move my neck for like four, like two weeks or four weeks, and I was in a lot of pain, and I couldn't look up or left or right, and it was right here, like right here, and um, and now it's. Perfectly fine. Like I, it's like a. It's, I, it sounds like you have got galactic in there, and it's yeah, that's, we've, we've never, that's exactly where the uh, the that square thing is. Because I have been calling it in. I go, like, you know, I've been just doing it, like when I go to bed, and you know, I mean, intending um, really my higher self, like or creator energy. Like I'm trying to go straight to the source, you know, like not really yeah. go through anything it, between it, that. You know, there's no reason not to. I think that vibe, yeah, yeah, that, well, yeah, I feel really good. I just thought I was only worried about parasites and implants, but that's yeah. pretty cool having just the repairs. You got none yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah like that's good. Like, like nothing in my throat at all? No. I do feel like a bubble. Yeah. I do feel like a bubble there. <laughs> but the, the, these things that are on your back might be healing you and also protecting you. You might have various things, but I've never seen them before. So I can feel them, though. Cool. But then again, I've took the the repair from it because I could feel it. So that could be why that's probably what you needed anyway. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> do, do you want something anyway? You've yeah, got that two, You've got yeah. two minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, sure. That. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel that? Yes. Right. So, thank you very much. Right. You feel it. You're really good, actually. And this is a lot better than last time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you, want, do you want two? Do you want a one or two cards? Two. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Just greedy. <laughs> Say stop. stop. <laughs> I always take my. No, I don't want to say that. But two. Right. So, see you there. No. Uh, the first one is power. So you've got the power of the creator. I think you've had that before. So divine love and wisdom and intelligence is available. Playfulness, which is the other card. You've got to have some fun now on your journey. So you've got to start playing a bit. Yeah. Enjoy your inner, uh, inner child. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. Victoria was here earlier. She wanted us to do a clearing. Heal Bobby, heal her, even though she wasn't here. Okay. Bob, Bobby's doing really, well, bit really badly. Right. 
we've done Bobby so many times. We all know what he looks like. He's got another choker in his throat and his allergies are really bad. See three shadow beings in the house. I'm not sure what they are. I just see them. They're the ones that are doing this to Bobby, but um, Victoria yeah. needs to Victoria needs to bring get her power, power back. back. Yeah, it's uh, they're only doing that for Bobby to to get her. That's all. Give her fear, and then she gets rid of more of the power and goes lower vibration. She just needs to get full power. Yeah, and they'll go. They'll just go. Yeah, she's um. Well, we'll talk about this later. As soon as I got there, they, they, they did a run. Yeah. So, and now Victoria, yeah, yeah, okay. she's got a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear. I, I, I never thought I would see this. It's all regarding Bobby. Uh, I've released the uh, stress, anxiety, fear, but she's the one who's doing yeah. herself, really. Yeah, so. did the same. Okay, next we have Paul, Paul H. Hello, hello. I don't know what's going on with my video, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all showing up in there with you. It's strange. I my computer crashed. I had to rebuild it. I've had lots of weird shit going on the last little while, but my vision is still funky from before. So I just want to make sure that this is all mine and not something else because I don't know how else to say it, but there's a lot of fuckery going on in the field right now and uh stuff's being attached and there's this diabetes thing in my family that's trying to be projected on me. Sorry for the video. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's so strange. I think I think that could be some beings, but definitely There's messing going on. So I'd love to hear if there's anything we can clear up here. My apologies. I am interested. I'm interested why your eyes are different. They look well, different. I, I went and saw the eye doctor, and they said it's glucose related. And I was following all my guidance, and when I went through COVID and other things, I had to I had to drink sugary drinks it was kind of filtering me and then one day about three weeks ago all of a sudden poof and I know Deb said that there was some guy kind of sharing with me or whatever but I think that's cleared but I still have uh like probably like fuzzy vision I don't know how else to describe it but it's driving me nuts and I my mother's all worried that I'm having diabetes with her but there's oh, a whole stop. Bunch stop. Of no don't 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 claim it <laughs> I don't claim it no it's yeah. not mine at all I've been yeah I've been getting rid of it here the last little while. I don't know what's going on with my video. Sorry about that. Hmm. It's okay. I always look at I always look at eye differences as a red flag. I do look at that. I always think something because your eyes are your two souls, so I'm always a bit wary. So uh, I'll check it out. You might feel this actually. I've been clearing a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm going through a bunch of credit shit and dealing with banks, and those entities are trying to attack me all the time. Um, I'm standing in my power. I'm reclaiming my power, and there's lots going on right now. But frick, sorry about the video. I don't know what's going on. You don't want us to do your work on you. That's what it's. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Sorry. See anybody in there? No, so your video has done a bit better. <laughs> it has. Yeah, you have. Thank you. I'm literally on a brand new computer that I rebuilt yesterday because uh, the other one was so damaged it. They literally went into my network and they messed up my printer, my everything. It's wow. just crazy. I said that shit. And then it came back. <laughs> this morning, I didn't, I didn't have, I tried to call somebody on my phone and it went dead. And all of a sudden, instead of the bars that tell you how many bars you have on your phone, it said SOS. Wow. I had, so I had no phone service for a while. And then our internet kept going off and on. And I was like, okay, what's going on in the universe? <laughs> Well, there's a big, almost the six solar flare today, which could have been that it affects radio transmissions. Yeah. And so there's a lot of crap going on in the air. There is. But I, I feel like there's something, bef I feel like I feel, I'm getting messages that there's something behind your eyes. You feel drained a lot. I'm getting something that could be draining you on yourself. Yeah. There's something. I've had to say goodbye to a few people that were playing games with me and I will not stand for that anymore. It's crazy. So I'm ready to be free of whatever is going on here because uh, whew, it's been intense days. Can you feel the energy? I feel stuff going on. I want to yawn. All right, yawn. But I want to see what's going on. Go ahead and yawn. Keep your eyes open for a bit. <laughs> is that froze? You're froze with the eyes open. Yeah, looks like it. Sir, there's an implant. Well, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting an implant 
that's linking is soul energy. So you're being there, you're getting yes. your soul energy taken out. Yes. Yep. But it's, one, it's one of those ones that you can't see. Oh, they don't want me to be doing what I'm doing right now. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in high council chambers holding energies accountable and they are like little children. They're running rampant right now and yeah. I should not allow it anymore. I'm a father figure. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah. They've got away with murder for a long, long time and they don't like me talking about it. <laughs> they don't like what we're doing either. So believe me. Yeah. Well, if anybody's having lots of crazy stuff happening in their world, trust me, there's some of us that are considered light workers that took on a whole bunch of cleanup right now, and it's happening big time. So uh, I see you and I hear you and I thank you for your work. Well, this one's intricate too. I thank you. I'm doing a bit of a battle at the moment. I'm at the implant with a team. Thank They've you. got armor. Was, they were ready for me. <laughs> they were ready for us to do this. <laughs> How do you feel? Ooh, a little woozy, but okay. Something's better. Thank you. Yeah. We we went in here once and uh, we did a bit of a battle. It was like in a cave. And uh, this is a one-off. First time I've ever had this, but Michael was helping us. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you, Michael decided to give us an end. Not bad. That's the first time ever. That. Well, he's only saved me a few times, but that's, that's good. <laughs> We can take the implants out now. Thank you. It's all plasma tech, yeah. just taking your energy out, stopping you on your tracks. Take the implants out. You, you might feel these get re removed. Well, there's something in the back of my head and the top of my head for sure, and my hips and my back. Is Bob going to do it or do you want me to do it? He's, he's doing it. He's, doing okay. it. he's hungry. So. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to anything <laughs> required. Yeah, we've had a few weeks off. That's what it is. Apart from the other day, I was fighting an arc and it's injured me neck. So. <laughs> Getting a big yummy load right now of whatever it is. I was just told you're going to get downloads tonight. I believe you. Thank you. I've been told these downloads are 12 you get stop getting attacked. But I don't know what that is. So that's for you to, when you open them, you'll find out. I accept them all. I don't know if anybody here has ever felt that you're the distraction sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been not to a lot of darkness lately, like the bait or whatever. No more. And it's right here and right now. Thank you. I'm just pump, pumping in some high vibration to protect your aura. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd use my button. I'd go on for about for four hours. So. Right now. That's done. How do you feel? Something happened. I feel strange inside, but it's all good. Thank you. Do you want one or two? Uh, do two cards and stop is good. Thank you. Blessings. That's to say that uh, you're getting extra blessings, probably from the guardians, actually. And healing. Stop focusing on these problems that you've got and healing will go through. So it's basically collect your power back into it. That's what it's saying. Yeah. I'm pulling it back. Every time I find anything missing, I pull it back and... Uh... I set myself free. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it, all of you. Thank you. You're welcome. That helps a lot. I'll turn off my video so it's not so weird. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably come back up. Well, I'll leave it. Oh, no, there it comes again. Thank all you. Right, Dean, you're up. Hello. And first of all, I want to express the most heartfelt gratitude to you three. And uh, to explain yes. to everybody else, um, I reached out, I have a support team built in, but Debrick and Phil are part of my support team um, in because I did not realize in 1996, of course, the Western medical system identifies things as anxieties and depression, but I now know I was waking up, but so I got caught up in the Western medical system and I've been wanting to come off for the last couple of years. Then on October 21st was the beginning of me coming off all these meds. And Debrick and Phil have been very instrumental in this with ease and grace. I cannot thank you guys. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Thank you. you. You did it yourself. I did it, but just, you guys just, you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Yes, okay. I do. Right. So I just want to acknowledge with my heart, just this process. I don't think it would have been this easy if it wasn't for you, specifically you three. Thank you. Thank We're you. honored. We are very honored. So let's get this scan going. <laughs>
I'll, I'll do some healing while that's just cut. I see some um, discs in your back that are some new bulging in your back. What you been doing, lady? Lifting weight? <laughs> no, I have my, I think, I'm not sure what number of the, but it's my lower, lower back. Yeah. I think there's two or three vertebrae that are almost bone to bone. And every now and again, it backs up and it's been acting up periodically. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's there. Yeah, I can see that you're having some issues. I'll try and do the repair on it now. Thank you. You might feel this actually. Let us know if you feel it. And across the hips, down the legs, into the knees, down even into the ankles and the toes, so it's, uh, from the waist down, you're gonna mm -hmm. feel some warmth or vibration. Bring it on. My God, I don't know who's doing that. Do you ever watch The Wizard of Oz? When they go to the um, castle and they go, nip, 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 do, 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 do. that's what they're playing the music as they're healing you. I don't know oh. who's doing that, but that. <laughs> 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 they're going all the way down they're doing all this healing and they're doing that music. <laughs> I'm like, okay, come on, really? It's happiness. Somebody's, got, somebody's got a really good sense of humor. <laughs> and they're telling me it's your angel. <laughs> you have to get me coughing. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> Oh my God, they're all they're all singing it. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> and a couple of Lottie Dodds. Oh gosh. Here's the way we heal Ernestine. <laughs> and the merry old land of Oz. Because <laughs> we're doing Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> they're, they're, they're cracking me up. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you feel heat and vibration at all in your lower half? Yeah, I'm starting to feel some heat because yes. when I say this out loud is because I'm so disconnected <laughs> from my physical body. Yes, I can you're, I can, it, it's pretty, it's pretty lit up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, how's, your, how's your discs doing? I actually saw a remote view. I actually saw the disc going, you know, the bone and the disc going down. It's quite, quite amazing. Wow. So I've tried to pull them in place. I did, did you hear them? Did you hear them saying them. Did you hear I didn't them? Hear it. I didn't. Know. Oh I was too much working. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why they were doing that. I, I could hear it. Just for you. Mm -hmm. Just for me. Mm -hmm. Did I need to laugh today? <laughs> they said no. Ernestine did. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they said this is Ernestine's humor. <laughs> oh God, they love you. That's what they just said. We love her, and I love them. And so much appreciation for them all. Oh God! And they just showed me. They just showed me your um, horse of many colors, or horse of many. And, and your it's actually a unicorn. You have one. Do I really? Yes. So wonder. I, I can sort of like when I see unicorns, I always let light up inside, like warm. Wow. Georgette. Her name's Georgette. <laughs> Do you also have pain in the neck on the side? Because I've just got some come over. Yep. Okay. It creeps up every now and again. That's another thing that you have in common with uh, that movie. That it, your unicorn is one of many colors. It changes colors. Yeah, your vibration is quite high, actually. Yes. A lot higher than it's normal. Yeah. Um, that's yes. what happens when you're happy. Your vibration goes up. Yeah, it's been going up and up and up and up continuously. You look great. I feel great. I thank you. Your, your angels are a kick, boy. They really are. Do you want a, a card or two? Give me two. Stop. Hmm. You've got serenity. I can actually say that now. I know we used to say it <laughs> four years ago. <laughs> so Good you've got peace, peace of mind is within you and you've got harmony. The angels are saying let go of your troubles, but I think you already are. So you're balanced. So you probably didn't need them cards. You already knew all that. But it's just so nice to have a confirmation or affirmation. True. True. You know, that's the yeah. way I look at it. And before yeah. I go here, Wilma, it is so lovely to see you, beautiful sister. Mm, it's been a long time. Anyway, thanks, everybody. Thank yeah. you, Phil. Yeah, and Deborah. Just did, Ernestine. No, James. You just said hello. Mm. Next is Linda. Hello. Hi, Linda. Okay. Open your eyes, Linda. Clear eyes today. No, nothing in there. <laughs> Good. 
That's a good thing. Neck, your yeah, neck. Definitely. I'm getting you got an issue with your neck, your spine. <laughs> Sorry. I think that I think that just took some of the negativity away. <laughs> Left over from my hold your hips. I'm getting the, the pain in the the you'll feel the pain in the neck going now because it's coming over to me. We got something on the bottom of our spine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. An attachment. Getting the message attachment lost so Stuart. My name is Stuart. I have an attachment named Stuart? Yes. He's lost soul. I'm gonna send him home. He's a little bit angry. That's why he's lost. I'm just sending him love. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna mute for just a minute. You may feel um a different a difference in your energy in that in a minute. He's releasing himself. Been really hot. Yeah, he's gone to the light. Now we're gonna re repair. We're gonna repair the area where he was. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What what I was getting? Have you had some anger recently? Me? Stress, stress, and anger. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, I think the oh, actual the me. actual lost soul's energy was affecting you a little bit, and it was creating a bit of stress in your head, and that's why you've been getting pain in uh, in your neck, and there's a bit in your back actually. If I can feel it, yeah. Now a lot um, of my shoulders. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the stress and the anger. That's keep it when you keep it old in your head. You got to ground it, and it's just leaking into your into your neck. Uh, a bit of grounding, walk in the park, up a tree, next to a tree. You know, you know the old grounding techniques. Yeah. But I, I feel that the influence of the lost soul who had a bit of anger has been uh, affecting you. That's it. That's um, a good word. Do you know yeah. who he, when he's from or what? He's gone now, no. <laughs> um, well, his last name was Granger. Um, he was just lost. And he, he just, you know, usually they are, when they don't know where to go, they grab onto false light. With, you know, somebody's light, they see it, and they think it's where they should go. Or, or sometimes they don't want to go because they didn't want to go in the first place and they've got a lot of anger. So they've got to tap yeah. into someone's energy field to yeah. stay alive, basically, because they haven't got any of their natural energy that we normally get when we're alive. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. And that could have been his case. So thank you. Just say stop and you can have two cards. See so everyone wants two. Stop. That's the first one. First card was power. And power basically means you've got the power of the creator inside you. And you've also got abundance. So you've got a rival abundance, it could be wealth or spiritual. So two really good cards there. Thank you okay. very much, all of you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Natalie, when you said she is blocked because of what her job is, who did you mean? Because uh, that's ages ago. Which one? Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, that was, you were talking before you started healings. That was about S Sophie. I think you were just talking about Sophie and you're yeah. at the very beginning. You were just talking about. I get it. Yeah. She, yeah, is, yeah, she, yeah. she is blocked because of what her job is. I know that. And I actually broke it once and uh, whoever put, put it there put a different one on the next day. <laughs> so I actually oh. broke through. She, she was a uh, ISIS one of aspects that's how strong how big she is and as soon as i found that's why oris was stopping me and david yeah. trying to find out okay so, no i can i can i can relate to what you're saying and her experience yeah. and anyway just wanting to understand the process more and understand those things and yeah yeah when you're dealing with bigger energy and then the interference that comes with it it's a challenge so, yeah. yeah anyways all right i'll let you carry thanks on. for that yeah <laughs> If you ever put a message in the meeting chat and you want healing, remember to put healing down in your message, by the way. Yeah, I'm a little lost here. Someone, uh, uh, um, went, uh, Ernestine, you wanted someone, you put someone's name down. Who was it? Uh, Wendy Mahoney. She's okay. here. Yeah, Wendy, you want to come on camera? There she is. Okay. I presume you want healing. You're on mute, honey. You, you have to do sign language. <laughs> but we, we don't know it anyway, so. Yes, please. I would love a healing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do you have headaches? Do you get headaches, Wendy? 
Sometimes. Sometimes. Because I feel like that. Can you look at the camera with you? Do you have uh, contacts in? No. Okay. Just making sure. Oops. To sum it, because I've had a thought and arc on this week, I don't know if it's my pain or yours. But have you got any pain on your elbow? No, no it might it might be mine. Then. <laughs> I should never fight Arkham's. Do you feel that energy? Wendy, are you clairvoyant? Have you felt like you had somebody else inside of you? I, I have felt that at times. I don't feel that so much now. I do feel some of the re remnants of some old energy, though, that might be stuck. I feel like there's something inside you, and I'm getting that message. Okay. That's why I wanted you to look at the camera, because I feel like I saw somebody inside you, and then I think he's Hiding. It's hiding. Okay. <sighs> he's there, Phil. He's not in her any longer. He's there, though. Mm. Problem is, that I'm getting a past life as well. It's mixing me, uh, mixing me, mixing me up a bit. Yeah, I'm getting a, a I'm getting a past life as a pirate. By the way, I just need to release that a bit. <laughs> That's probably why you like pirate films, maybe. I'll just release that before I get rid of this. Uh, this thing might have been attracted to that energy, actually. Do you have problems on your neck? You might have said that. Um, a little. I had a car accident a few years ago, so I got a little bit in the back. Yeah. It's just when you're a pirate, you're wrong. That's why, that's, why, that's why I'm asking. I just want to see if there's any of the energy I need to remove. Pirate. Wow. Right, he's gone. I had to go in your timeline and tell him... Uh, Send the negative energy to source and send you back to your other self. Uh, have you located this uh, being? Uh, is it I do? Deb? Sorry, could you say again? I, I'm I talking to Deb. <laughs> you know where it is? It's not in the body. It was inside her body. Um, then it it left. It went on the outside. It was trying to. It, it was hiding. So it left. Okay. It's somewhere. Do you have, do you have our movements in the house like a poltergeist? No, it's strange. This thing is got red eyes. Yeah, it's, it doesn't look human, does it? It's not very attractive. It doesn't look human. What? It doesn't look human. No, it's not. <laughs> had two light arms going down right now. I don't even know what being like. I have no idea. <laughs> hmm? Delman's got rid of it anyway. Oh. Do with healing where right, they right, right. because of all the mess in his stuff. Trying to figure out where she picked him up. Can you feel that energy, Wendy? After this, I'll drink some water, by the way. Where do you work? I do private sort of consulting, coaching work, light work. Out of your house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had any clients that are, you could feel the evil dripping off of them? Well, I have run into these humans <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Not necessarily clients, but um, people that I've worked with in the past. Yes. This, yes. This thing was pretty nasty right it's repaired i'm gonna google uh, different beings later on because <laughs> i've got it in my mind i want to see where it is because i don't know where it is so anyway. i don't Do you feel like it came i don't feel like it came from inside your house i don't feel like a portal's in there and you're in your house now right yeah i don't think it came from there that's why i'm trying to figure out where you picked it up yes yeah, i've been cleared anyway just in case thank you thank you do you want to say stop and I'll give you two cards? Uh, stop. These are like guidance from the healing we've done. That's why we do it after, basically. So it's uh, new beginnings and friendship. And they basically mean what, exactly what they mean. And embrace new opportunities, friends and projects. And you're basically changing some friends and getting new ones. Is that what's right? You're getting rid of some friends and you're getting better ones. I think most spiritual people are actually. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, you're, guys. You're welcome. Okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Ernestine. Thank you. Is it Karina? Well, we don't know. Okay. Happened. Yeah, Karina. Yeah. That's where. I see. Karina. It's not someone invisible, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Karina. Unless we go on to James and then go back to Karina. Move on. Yeah. Okay. James Davis, what does yes please mean? Oh, wait a minute. There's, is she back, Corinna? She ran across. Unless I saw her walk across. Oh, well, maybe not. James? Yes. 
Does yes, please mean you want healing? <laughs> yes, please. Yes. <laughs> For some reason, my video won't turn on. There we go. There it is. All right. I just wanted to say, if if I, I, we haven't mentioned this, but anyone's got a choice whether they have the, we call it lollipop because we've been banned a few times. So if you've ever had something in your arm and you want it reversing, we can try and do it. Oh, we can do it. So just mention it. I, I forgot to, we forgot to mention it at the beginning. Yeah. It's, if you, you want to keep it, it's fine. We, we, it's choice, yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. The needle thingy in the arm we call the lollipop. <laughs> so if you had the mm -hmm. gazillion of them that they've sometimes required you to get in your arm, let us know. And if you want us to try and get the toxins out, we can try and do that for you. Anyway. Okay, James. See what you have a blocked third eye. There's a shield over it, like a scab, and you have headaches. You have headaches? No, nope, just a lot of pressure. Just a lot of energy coming in on the top of my head. If you your crown's blocked a bit, or your your third eye, or your throat, let's just check it. <laughs> Can you feel that energy? Yes. You have a. Uh, an issue with your heart uh, going to be corrected right now. The electronics on it are the timing's off. You may feel some warmth or vibration in your heart or a flutter. You also have a little bit of a blockage going on. That's going to be repaired right now as well. Yeah, I'm releasing this pressure on your head. It's quite bad, actually. And there's also like a back pressure, back pain. That's coming up here as well. It's like front low. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel like I have a cap on my head, like around around here. And it's just like, I don't know. I guess it's feel like it's pulling energy down because I don't have so much energy on top of my head. And now it's, mm. well, it's clearing up this ring that I felt. Now it's clearing up. But it felt like I had a ring around my head. Like it was like yeah. a cap or something. I, I put an halo around your head. <laughs> and I bring in the higher vibration. Sometimes I bring 360, you know, I have some, uh, 36 chakra not doing that. Well, Andromeda. So if, if anyone ever feels a bit ill, too much energy, just let us know. But well, just take small bits, it clears everything, it clears all your chakras. All right. Yeah, so. Your heart's been repaired too. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to say stop and I'll give you two cards or you don't need them. We'll stop. Uh, intentions. Playfulness. Yeah, so playfulness is just have, have a bit of fun on your journey and intentions, create a goal and aim for it. I should be doing that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got two goals right now. I quit smoking. It's been like 10 days and I also quit my job, but I don't know what I'm doing for income. Done that. Do you want me to uh, help you with it? Stop smoking. Do you want me to try and program your brain a little bit? Yeah. Well, yeah. I did yeah, this once. I did this once at the Ewing Centre and this woman in the 70s told me she wanted to give up smoking. And afterwards she went for a cigarette and she said, she basically swore at me because it tasted, it smelled like dog poo. <laughs> <laughs> she had it. And I said, well, that has to make you give up. <laughs> but she wasn't happy. <laughs> I won't do that. So I was just me being a bit younger at the time. Did you feel that going in? Yeah, right. It was like right here. It's going on right there. It's like okay. a download. And when I create a download to say stop smoking, I've got to give it four numbers and then send it to the cashier. So it's the way I've got to do it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Is that, that I think that's okay. I think it should be okay now. I feel better. I feel like lighter. Yeah. Just drink right. a bit of water later. Yeah. These energies that um, Bill and Rick and I do uh, last for about seven days. So. A lot of water. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Corinne. De Deb, just one yeah. second. Just one sec. One sec. We've done Victoria, but she doesn't know we've done it. <laughs> yes, we did, Victoria. You asked us to take care of you even when you weren't there. We took care of you, Victoria, and uh, Bobby, and the house. You did have some inside, so you'll have to see the replay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, I, um, what did you say, Phil? We did remove some inside. Some, there's some things being, here right yeah um it, it's mainly because you haven't got your power and every time they're attacking bobby because you have got fear of them attacking bobby <laughs> and they only attacking bobby because of your fear yeah because you know he keeps collapsing 
and it's really hard to stay focused like that. And and then there's my dad's been going to the casino, and you know bringing back energies that's not positive, and my sister-in-law comes home with energies and stuff, and it would just it was just nonstop gainers, nonstop gainers. But um, did I have anything on myself? No, no. You know what's weird is today I was out walking baby, and I was. I was, um, I think, probably anchoring in the energies, but I was literally sweating. And this is a first. And I had to, like, remove the the zipper from my jacket and everything. And, you know, we're still in the middle of the winter, but it's more like fall weather today. It's the first time it was actually sunny. First sunny day, right, um, Ernestine? Long time we haven't had sun. And so, um, yeah, so I was wondering, is that, is that the energy from the source <laughs> coming in? That's why I am literally fired up earlier. The the energies in the last few weeks have been very, very strange. Very, very. Yeah. I saw the, um, we brought in the rose gold. Um, I actually took a picture of it just a, a few days ago. It came through, the rose gold energy. And it landed on a sunset. You can actually see the, it's a beautiful color gold. It's different from, um, you know, your normal sunset. So, so what about Bobby's health? Anything happening with Bobby? Did just, you guys your, just your just your fear. What about his body, like his health? Well, he's he's an old dog, Victoria. He's an old guy. You got to remember that. We are using yeah. we are using him to get you. Yeah. I I understand, but um, do you see anything that um, because he has does, did he have a choker this time out? Yes, he did again. I took it out. I healed it. Yeah, because he gets a lot of this cough and stuff, and the water or mucus or whatever it is comes back up through his nose so he could be drowning from it too and ever yeah don't, don't manifest that okay don't look at your worst fears because you're you're the problem honestly by just saying that just thinking that <laughs> you could be manifesting that true <laughs> so. true true um how about the rest of his body he's do you see anything Fine. else like the abscess is fixed hmm. yeah because good to yeah. go yeah we we sh- did we shift the beans? I'd have to because I'm in the zone at the time. I can't remember. We, we did shift in. What happened there? I can't remember. I changed. Three, there were three. Then. There were three three shadow beings. Shadow beings. That's it. Yeah. What I happens is I, I change different aspects. So sometimes I don't remember it fully. Mm. That would have been like a worry aspect. That was it. what I was concerned about because I have to leave them home alone earlier, and I kept going back because I saw those three. Yeah. And um, yeah, as long as his health, everything else is not anything major. That that is good. Mm-hmm. But do you know where those guys came from? I mean, like yeah, they, yeah, they, they tell us exactly. They, they tell us exactly where they came from. They gave us a, a business card. Really? <laughs> no. I, mean, I mean, like, did, did they come from like my family, or did they come from? How, how would we know? Oh, they. You, so you don't know that one. Yeah, how would how, how would we actually know that? Unless because, it's an unless it's a portal going to a destination. What, was there a portal? A, no. Unless it's an energy field going to a destination, we won't know. We really don't know. You you know, this last while when I was walking Bobby, when I had the chance, he would go to different places and he would stop and stare, stop and stare, and he would just refuse to walk in certain places. So I'm wondering if if those things followed us from outside or whether they came from my relatives, my family, if you know what we I mean. We don't, we really, really, we don't know. We know how as would, much as you where they come yeah. from. Yeah, how would I know where they come from then? Exactly, how, we, how would we know? <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, Is there a way to find out? Yeah, So I could them. prevent that? You're attracting them with fear of Bobby. Now, it's probably something very similar to your past attacks. For the beings that have been attacking you in the past, and if you do a very high work, which you do, they're deliberately doing this to stop you doing your work, spiritual work. That's all they do. I sent out a lot of energy and they attack like crazy lately. Yeah, they're stopping I, you doing your work, that's all. Pro- I would probably say they've been sent probably by archons. They're normally sent by archons, but the shadow beings. So the lowest of the low. So they're just playing with you, yeah, mm-hmm. for your fear to stop you going on your track. Your power could get rid of them, mm-hmm. give you power too much. <sighs> Yeah, I was having some stomach pain earlier too, so I thought I might be getting an ulcer or something. But it seems better now. And being outside walking with him, I don't know. This um, is that's because we we've already given you healing. No, this is before the healing. Hmm. I was actually sweating for the first time, and I 
while, while walking him. And it's like, um, there must be a huge dose of white light and other, other rays that came in because it was really hot and flaming for me. So Use I think, it then. Use exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. So Victoria, I just didn't have We've to... got people waiting. Oh, okay. We All right. Yeah. Well, we, 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 we've already done your 10 minutes before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you weren't here. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Do, um, are you still you. giving out tarot cards or no? Did we give any tarot cards out? Did you guys give today? No, we didn't. Okay, so Go today. <laughs> you can have two quickies. Go okay. On. All right, thanks. One for baby and one for me. Okay. Thank you for helping baby and clearing the space, guys. Yeah, stop. Oh, sorry, stop. Uh, healing and playfulness. Healing is basically says you want the healing, you got to let your troubles go away. Really you just got to get rid of the troubles. More play, more fun on your journey. Okay. Mm. Okay. So Thank you're stopping you. the healing. You're stopping moving on because of your worry. You got to let them troubles just go. Yeah. Them can't yeah. be quite bang on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're, you're welcome, honey. Yeah. Okay, Corinne. Corinna. I think you're on mute, honey. You want to unmute? Hi, yeah. I'm, I was on mute, yeah. Okay. Thank um, you for waiting. Okay. Do you just want to start? Or do I... Yeah. Well, um, my husband's going to scan you, and then I get the information. And Phil and I and, and Rick will start healing. <clears throat> You've been diagnosed with something. I hope. I'm wondering. Oh, you were asking me? And you're, I'm asking you, who's, has a doctor diagnosed you with something? I haven't been to a doctor in a long time. Okay, good. Are you diagnosing yourself with something? Um, not Cause really. You're laying down in bed and I'm wondering. Cause, uh, oh, yeah. I, I, you see it like that. I am diagnosing, but I don't know what it is. And I'm in horrible pain. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay. It, it's a pain? It, it's it's just something temporarily the pain i'm trying to figure out what it is yeah do you want me to tell you what happened okay you can tell me what happened i just don't want you to diagnose yourself and let us try and and go through this with you okay so we can yeah i um my car was stolen on monday and i was chasing my car as i saw them i was i was bringing things to to the homeless to help them and i left my car running where i was right next to my car kneeling down to a homeless person that's on dialysis and and, it, uh, and someone said, oh, your car. And I looked, somebody dropped, some kids stole my car with my purse, my phone, my wallet, everything in it. So I was running after my car and I fell over my, my flip-flop sandals, like straight on my nose. I mean, like straight here. And it was all swollen and all. Um, and I had a little headache that night. And then I started having like pain, like right under my left breast. And first I thought it's heart pain from the stress. It's like a dull ache. I, I was going. I was going to say that you've got a lot of stress, but you've told us it now. But I was going to say I could pick up this stress. This is feeding it. You got to try and find a way of getting rid of it. Which we it's not your we heart. Can, it's not yeah, your heart. It's just stress. Yeah. yeah. You know what it is. Your your heart is broken because you were helping people, and you can't believe that somebody did this to you. That's what that is. I don't think like, like you said it's not my heart. I think. Okay, what I think is through the fall, I fell and I needed yes. like a chiropractor and it's the bones that are out of adjust. That yeah. are it, it's, it's also your heart chakra. It's your heart yeah. chakra, what Deb was meaning. Not your real heart. It's your yes. heart chakra that is griefing because of what's happened. And it's actually turning into like a physical pain. Yes. Because of the stress. But I feel yes. that pain in my back too. It's yes. like I move in a certain way. I was cleaning the house today and I did physical work and it got worse. It was like the bones are on it. It's in the, the back, my left back, like right behind the heart in the back. Yes. I feel like I need an adjustment, but I'm not 100% sure because I'm not going to go get an x ray. Okay. Can you feel the energy now coming in? Do you feel the energy, Corinna? But I'm not very relaxed. Usually I'm good at feeling energy. I, okay, I feel it here now on my crown. It's hard to feel when you're fe feeling so much pain. 
Try, try and relax if you can breathe through your, into your nose and out through your mouth to try and relax the rest of you so you can get so the healing energy can get into your back and yes. your chest. The, the breathing okay. is a problem too when I breathe in deep. Slowly, in. slowly. Yeah. yeah, try and do it slowly. Try, try and relax as much as you can. So with each of those breaths, the healing happens. Are you a healer too, Corinna? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're out on the street feeding them. I have to fix myself first. I forget myself. I'm actually getting, picking up, that is a relative helping you at the moment. Female energy. I don't know if it's like a mother figure, auntie figure. I'm not sure. But she did show me 1950s car. <laughs> but I don't know the name or anything. Show you what? A 1950s car, just to show me the era when she was up here, if you know what I mean. So, but I had all prickly on my hand, and then I got the image. Is it like a, like a being, a spiritual being? It's it's a, a family member, a spiritual being, family member helping you at the moment. And what, what did she show you again, please? She showed me a 1950s car. 1950 so. car from 1950? 1950 car she used to drive, that's all I saw. <laughs> I think that was an age stamp, if you get what I mean. I don't know, my grandmas didn't drive cars. <laughs> Mine didn't either. She never had a license. <laughs> my mom didn't either. <laughs> my, yeah. mom, my mom did, but my grandmother didn't. Um, I think it's an age thing. It's like a, it was picking up, trying to pick the age, and they did the car. I don't know why we did that. I, I have an old car, yeah. What I didn't understand is that somebody... Some kids would steal my car that's obviously already old and not taken care of because I can't afford to get it made look nice and all. And to take something from me that's already like obviously my last resort. But what it is, what it is, to, it's, to, it's to stop your journey. It's to make, disrupt your journey. Why yeah. did this happen to me? You know, why? Um, it, it's, to, it's so you go I, lower vibration. Right. And it's, it's, it's not... Yeah, it's it's because you're doing you're doing the work helping humanity. Oh, there were tests. It was a test. How if I can keep my vibration up? Because I had a really good morning before that. I was really happy when I by the, when I went there. They're 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 trying to stop all of us from what we're doing and helping humanity. Okay, Understand you know it's not, it's you know all what? of us. We're all being attacked. You know what? You 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 may there may you may be onto something because I was thinking I'm not going there anymore. That wasn't those weren't even homeless people that did that. that those were some kids that go there to buy pot. They yes. stay mm -hmm. car with pot. And they and I was thinking when my friend is like, Oh, don't go there anymore. I don't want to promise me you don't go there anymore. And I'm like, this isn't fair. Why how can I punish the homeless people that are waiting for me to bring them stuff that are looking forward because some kids did this to me. Which yeah. I left the car running. That was stupid. Yeah, you know. But I had faith. Yeah. I mean, all is, is well. Nothing happened to me. But besides my, you know, my fall. But you see here, it's for my eye. It's yeah, black eye. Healing. Yes. Yeah. It's already healing. So it's it's from the negative side then, or also a test maybe if I can still keep my vibration high. You and you can and you are doing that, but understand. Now the, the the ancestors that are around Rick and I <clears throat> um, told me that you're a healer, and they also came down and they're all indigenous, so they're from all the tribes the, from the stars that were uh, once on Earth, and they they gave you a download. I don't know if you felt it. That's what you felt on your crown. I felt they were giving, so yeah, you felt on your crown. We were healing you. They were giving you a download. So and that download has to do with healing. So for you, and it's, it's, an, it's an energy to help you continue with your healing. So something, I don't know what the gift is they gave you, but it's something to do with healing. And just don't let this discourage you. I'll only let this so encourage what? you. I was talking, there was, so when they, they found my car the next morning, the kids were still driving my car in the morning. And, the, and, and they're like, oh, can you pick up your car? And I'm like, um, how? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So they, they sent a police officer undercover to come pick me up and my daughter went with me. It was so sweet and kind. And I talked to the policeman because there is a task force um, for the homeless and they're telling me not to bring them anything. Like they know where to get, where the resources are. You're not doing them a favor by bringing them things. So I was feeling guilty 
like I'm doing a crime. That's why I left my car running too. I left my car running in case the cops come and tell me, don't bring them stuff and you're not supposed to, to park here on the side of the street. Like I was going to get a ticket. I was worried I might get a ticket because, you know, it's, it's not a parking lot. I'm standing on the side of the street where they are sitting. Maybe, Karina, if the police have said there's resources where they go, you could volunteer to, to help them at the resource centre. It's not all that easy to get resources because they're, they're getting the runarounds. If you don't get this, you can't get that, then how are they going to get around? It's such a, it's a, it's, I'm sorry, it's lies. They're telling you lies. Do they have resources? It's a lie and you know it. There, there's no resources for homeless people. They're, they they can, send us their full or they, they don't want to go to the homeless shelters because there's a lot of. The homeless <laughs> shelters are full. They're they usually can't. full. Then they can't. I know one, one young guy, he has a little dog. He can't go to a shelter with a dog. They won't let him in. Another one says, I'm blind. They said they can't take me in because they have no one to take care. Yes. So it's not like they're going around right. and, and picking one. Okay, you need your dialysis. We find your home now. They literally need a social worker or a light worker, somebody to take them by the hand and go to all the places where they can get resources. Because how are they supposed to get around? They go to once a week where they can take a shower and they get one bus pass. One bus pass. How are they supposed to get back? You know? And they're just hopeless. Like, I'm sometimes so unmotivated. I have to force myself and push myself to do something. And I still have a home. I, I have a home, you know? Yeah. But what I'm saying is that these are the pick that picked me up to get my car. I told him about that. The police said they know the resources. And, and he said, and I said, it sounded like a message from above, too. He said, you know, you, you keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what mm. you're doing. Even though he knew what happened to me, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a good thing. So, yeah. And I just have to be more. You are doing a good thing. You are. Because, I mean, I can go to another place where they go on the weekends and go there. So I'm away from the drug area where all the, the druggies are. So, yeah, because I don't see myself stopping doing that just because I don't, I don't let anyone tell me what to do. My friend says, to promise me not to go there anymore. I said, I don't think I want to go back, you know. Maybe I'll just meet them somewhere else. So I can still help them because I don't let anybody tell me what to do. You, Karina, do you want two cards to for the cats to tell you what to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you drink, want two drink water. <laughs> this healing energy stays with you for the next week. Drink some water and enjoy your download that you got. Okay, so one more thing. Um is it is it gonna my back um is it gonna be adjusted or something? It's gonna do something with my back because I yes, you're healed. Have it's all it's been water. healed. So you, it, within twenty four hours you should feel a lot better. Yeah, because I was getting a little worried. It was really bad pain. I mean, like breathtaking, like really. And I'm, I have a high to pain tolerance. I mean, when I had my daughter, they wanted to give me the epidural and I refused. I literally refused. They sent me another doctor to talk me into it and I refused. Great, I don't, great. I don't dwell on it or you're just trying to manifest it back. No, no, what I'm that. saying is that I put, that I was, was really in pain. You know, I, yeah. I am, you know. What? Are you in pain I'm, now? Okay. <laughs> Are you in pain now? It's better. I mean, yeah. Oh my God, it's better. It still feels. <laughs> of course, it's better. That's because you're an healing. <laughs> <laughs> you want two cards just to show you the path to go. Just say stop. It's still a little breathing problem, but it. Go look for it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <it's> <laughs> just say stop. Say Is stop. there anything else you see? Anything else you can? Uh, the word stop, maybe. The word stop so you can get your cards, your your um you angel guys. cards. Oh, you're putting a card. I would like to know, because speaking of cards, um, I had a bunch of gift cards in my wallet that I was holding on to to buy necessities, and they were, well, they're gone too. And Th These I, aren't credit cards. These are right. He's uh, got, he's Oracle trying to cards. give you an uh, Oracle card, honey. Tell me when it's done. Yeah, I know. I understand. <laughs> I was just wondering why all this money on those cards that I needed for necessities were gone. <clears throat> Maybe I should have spent them earlier and not hold on to them, like go with the flow, you know, like, okay, let's buy the toilet paper now with that money before you lose the card. Say stop. Huh? Tell, 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 tell Phil when to stop with your card. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's been okay, shuffling all these times. Stop. Ah, <laughs> uh, my aunt.
Interesting. Listening about me doing the stop word. Well, that's a joke. <laughs> What's the this, thing? Co- this confirmed you're listening to them. Listening. Use this knowledge, it's intuition. And nature, connect with nature every day more. You need to do a bit of grounding in nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, which card was it? Intuition? <laughs> no, listening. <laughs> listening. listening. Or oh, listening to myself. <laughs> You're listening to the spirit world. So oh. you, you, uh, what did I say again? Uh, what did I say? I can't remember. Use the knowledge, intuition. Your intuition, that's it. Use your knowledge for intuition and I connect with nature. So what I would do is connect with nature more and see what intuition you get. Okay. Trust, trust the messages you're getting. Trust them. You know what? Lately, I have noticed my intuition has gotten better. It's like a knowing, like something happens or somebody does something, and I know exactly why. I just know it, and I'm yes. very sure. I mean, I'm like, trust no, that. Trust that. Why people do certain things, or like I, I read people better. Sure. I can feel people it's better. Very, very important. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Okay, now I can go to back to house cleaning. Just kidding. <laughs> now I still have my work to do. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Natalie. 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 Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Just, um, I, I guess, guess, well, I've, I've been, been going, going through a lot of stuff on and off, higher self stuff, human stuff, stuff trying, trying to find balance between the two. Struggle with, with that, that. and um, returning to nursing, very involved in the 3D world. But I also have a really powerful higher self, and it's um, a lot of echo. I'm sorry, you know what? Let me unplug my microphone. Oh, wait, how's that? That's it's better. better. Yeah, okay. So I have a microphone, I guess it wasn't working very well down here. Um, so yeah, it's just I've been struggling just to, I guess, accept my work my path um on one hand like i'm a very human self going back to nursing taking care of father on another hand i have a really powerful oversoul and higher self and i work in healing energy work collective work and i'm supposed to be doing clients and stuff like that well explain to me what what this what do you mean by your your higher self you have a powerful higher self i mean well it's just well at the um she comes in and like I embody, I work with her, I channel, she works through me, um, heals through me, does work through me. So I'm very aware of it. And then uh-huh. the human self, like the ego self gets kind of stubborn because I'm like, well, in the human world, I'm trying to get all this other stuff done. And so it's like this sort of a struggle between the two. But You, you um, also said, Natalie, about your oversoul. Now, your oversoul is like... 12 sections and each section is a lie it is million, loads and loads and lives loads of lives the one we have here is one of them sections so every section you can connect with the higher aspects of yourself have you thought about connecting to them and partially merging well, them? well what you why don't you guys tune in and check <laughs> um because i'm i work at the oversoul level i know that sounds crazy it just is what it is but what what happens is this is what happens to me. Like when I my first my first years, it was Merlin. I used to connect to very very frequently. Right. And then later on, when I was doing worry work, it used to be Raphael. Yeah. And then in the last five years, it's been Hermes on Atlantis, a crystal yeah. source being. So they all come in at a different time, yeah. and you don't even know when it comes in. They just come in, and then right. if you partially merge with them, you get the knowledge of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't I don't let them in and go out because I always think I'm giving me power away. I let it partially merge, so it's like a, a combination. Yeah, I guess that's, that's where I'm trying to find the balance because it's like I'm still trying to be me and an independent self and have my choices of like you know at the oversoul level. It's like okay, this is the mission. This is what we're doing, and then the human self is like, well, it's like you're sitting around a table and you're kind of going you know, discussing like who wants to do what, you know, it kind of feels like that at times. Um, and so it's like, yes, trying to have a partial merge where me, the human self is like present and I have, you know, a degree of control and decision and this is what I want to do and what I feel safe and comfortable with. And then 
like the higher self will come in. And then when I step into that aspect, it's like, oh, I suddenly have a love for doing this and this is what I want to do. So it gets, it gets confusing and conflicting. So, but, um, but yeah. Have you merged or have you given your, given control to another aspect at all? Have you given total control over? Sophia. Who's Sophia? Is that the the female God? Higher self. Hmm. That's your higher self? Because I don't, think that's your higher self well she's the higher self of the higher self (laughs) but because i've merged in with and embodied the higher self then it's it's she's technically part of the oversoul but because i've embodied and moved up to the higher self then it's kind of like i move closer to her so it's as if she becomes akin to the higher self it sounds like i don't think it's just a if it's an elevator and you've moved up in levels Kind yeah, of like you were I'll tell you what it is. It's not I yourself. This is my opinion. It's one of them sections that you're connected to, and it's an yeah. higher vibrational being. Correct. Yeah. So it's an higher vibrational being. So it's not I. Yeah. I, I, I don't talk to my higher self. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just one of it. I like to talk to the uh, aspects, which is about half a dozen. And they're right, and, and that's like me too. Yeah, there's specific ones, but. Um, there's certain ones that I resonate better with and work better with than others. And it, you know, um, and that, so I work with them and then at a higher aspect, it, it becomes Sophia at a higher I, level. But I, I, I'm getting a message that you have a trickster energy that's involved right. here. And that's what I guess I kind of want to know is because, and that could explain why there's fear or resistance. Um, and that's why I think that you're having issues because you've got a trickster energy in there. When right. You're- thing is it still could be an aspect that's what that's why it gets really weird yeah can, can aspects or higher selves because i had a lady the other day say you've got a couple of you've got two or three higher selves and i have soul braid or soul braid the and then it gets tricky literally because there's like too many versions of me and it's it creates like mental health breakdown literally like you've almost. got the control you've got the control of it so if you're well, not happy with yeah. it close it up close what you're not happy with and that's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing is I push it away. I tell them to basically F off, you know, even if it's to higher self, like I have to set really rigid boundaries because there's too many. Like, and I had a, 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 a free gifted QHHT, sort of a QHHT by a, a friend a few nights ago. And there was like 87 angels and guides and divine beings and ascended masters and whatever um, there in dragons. And it was incredible, but. I mean, I work with a lot of beings, a lot of divine light and a lot of divine energy, but it also gets conflicting. So I don't know, like you said, is like some of these tricksters good? Are they good beings or are they higher self? Like, do I have negative? Well, tri- tricksters aren't going to be good. What I, I tend to do when I'm going into Ashra and I'm going into a battle, I'll have two or three aspects that I'll see what's happening and I'll call, partially merge with them at the time to do the battle, Hermes mainly because he's like a demigod. Uh, Raphael, if I need his sword, God's sword. So I look at what I'm doing and I look which one, and I'm in control, and I call them in, so they come in. If it's like healing, then it can be Raphael again, or who else can it be? Uh, crystal source being, especially if I'm reversing the uh, lollipop, because I've got to go into the person's 11th chakra and then access their uh, cash it records and then look at their blueprint and then reverse anything that's not to the eye itself. So I need her to actually do that. And I need me a drama de Stasi to have the access to the to the uh, cash it record. So there's like two parts to me. So you can partially merge to two or three beings at the same time. It can be done, but only if you need to. But you have got the access, you've got the control, and you you you're you're basically the uh, conductor you're bringing them in yeah mm-hmm. they don't control you you, you so don't listen there, to them hmm? yeah so okay why, so can, that's explain really, to so that's me wonderful. why can you explain to me why you want to deal with so many beings at one time are they controlling you or are you controlling them no I, I i've pushed them away to say no i'm in control like so you're kind of confirming it like no yeah. like get get out like there's like two um or three aspects that I work with closely and the rest I'm like if I need you I'll call you otherwise just leave me alone I need to have like some mental health and control in my life and stability that's one of the reasons why I'm going back to nursing is to be more grounded and to serve in that way because I'm like it's just 
being in the spiritual world and going up to such high levels and doing some crazy stuff, it's just, it's just, it's too much. I'm just like, whoa, everybody. Cause once you start that and everybody starts showing up, it's like, Oh, look, she's a channel. Look, this look, she can, you know, or helping entities, you know, leave and different things in it. It is, it just, it's, good, it's good to have a 3D yeah. job for healing and a spiritual job and try and yeah. work around it. It's good to have both. Definitely. And I need that grounding. So, so that being said, so you help me feel reassured about that is like, yeah, it's okay. Tell them to leap off and set that boundary and be in mm -hmm. control. And that's what I've told them. I'm like, look, I don't want higher self to take over and you do the work. I want to learn these skills on a human level. And Philip, you're one of the ones that sort of inspired me because you're talking about how you do these things on your level. Whereas in my sessions, you know, source would come in and just do stuff and i'm like wow that's magical i want to learn how to do that so i'm driving not you know yeah. being taken over everybody's, and everybody's different though you, you have to remember that yeah. with, with healing um not everyone is the same and phil has his own journey you have your yeah. journey we have our journey oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, that said, do I have any negative energies or tricksters or interference? You like, have a trickster. You definitely have a trickster. And I can tell you it's, so, it's Sophia. Oh. Hmm. See how you don't want that? You don't like that. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, like, she's, she is the oversoul, but there's probably an energy pretending to. She is she's not an oversoul. Energy. She's not an oversoul. She's a very, very convincing liar. Remember, the, the oversoul is all your aspects, and your yeah. oversoul is an aspect of source. So your oversoul is the aspect of source, and all your right. lifetimes is in your oversoul. So are you saying Sophia in general is not a good person, or are you saying that the one I believe to be Sophia is... You might be two. Huh? You might, have a, you might have a correct one, and you might have a trickster one. Yeah. Feel the energy. So we, we're not saying that you haven't got it. You might have a Sophia. It's an aspect that's good. No, you I might, do. I mean, you might, how, you might have like a, a everybody call. for four years has read my energy is is being um. I, I knew but anyway, that. that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The point is, 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 is it's prevent. It's stopping me from feeling safe to step into my power to do my light work, regardless of the name. The point is, is I want to feel safe to step into my spiritual power and my embodied higher self to be able to hold space for people to do sessions, to do light work. Right now, I haven't really felt fully me and fully safe. And that's what Why? I want to clear it up. So regardless of the name, mean. like, yeah, regardless of the name, like, I don't even care. Like, I've even told them, like, I don't care who's what. I don't care. I don't want ego part of it. I just want crap cleared up so I can feel safe, so I can go back to doing work. Because right now, I've stopped. And that's not good, because I know I'm here to help do things. So you can see how you've been stopped. So whatever being the tricks has actually done its job. That's how I, know. How, how I look around. And then they make me really angry and hate myself. Hmm. Why would you hate yourself? Not well, it's long story, but yeah. I know. You're right. I mean, why? <laughs> but that's the feeling is like as if the higher self is responsible for bringing this in. The in higher sense. self has nothing to do with this. Yeah, good point. Well, so me and Lynn, anyway. Let's see what yes, we see. Please. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Have you had any physical traumas in the last year? Yes, I've had a couple of falls. I still have bruising in my arm here that's been there since summer, falling on cement. That's where your trickster energies come in. <clears throat> mm. I was just rubbing it in the shower today, actually. still hurts. When you, um, when you have in injuries, there's an opening in your auric field. Mm. You, you probably feel it, actually. I've had a few related to my roommate's 130 pound Rottweiler dog pulling me with the leash and literally dragging me and hurting me. I mean, he's a sweet boy. He's just as impulsive and will pull and he's 130 pounds. He's no match for me. I think she's got um, three trickster energies. <coughs> oh boy, I feel that. Oh. Do you have any male? There's a, there's a male trickster energy. Do you have any male um, that you talk to that? Roommate. You mean aspect of myself aspects or somebody in or the aspect of any kind that you? Oh, like a male aspect of myself? Yes, or a higher self, or as a. Um, or do you channel? Do you channel any male? Archangels. Some of the archangels I do. Have any of them changed at, at all? Their channel not that, not that I've. I I usually keep it limited, um, just because I've had this issue before to Yeshua, 
Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. I keep it limited to them. Uh, Raphael is around me. Gabriel is around me. Uh, Raphael works with me. I won't charge you commission. <laughs> we'll did, you feel, did you feel that energy uh, release? Oh, uh, yes. It was beautiful. Uh, because I was on mute, I was doing the uh, angelic tongue, and I just don't want to put it on YouTube. <laughs> oh, no. It's beautiful. So, oh, my gosh. I feel it all in the solar plexus, abdomen. Yeah. Air. So everything's oh. cleared out because they won't stay with that tongue. Thank you. So now, now we've got to use our chi energy to build up your auric field uh, or pana or pana. Depends on which country you <laughs> Or chi, chi energy then. Chi. Life force, life force energy. Same thing, all three. Well, you should be able to recognize it now if it's a trickster. Thank you. Is it part of my higher self? Or a trickster energy, a trickster energy cannot be part of a higher self because no, that, no but but, it, but it, like impersonating it as you, you, you okay. cannot, yeah, you, you, you will have negative uh, aspects that need probably clearing, but it wasn't that. It come in that free injuries and it pretended yeah. to be Sophia, even though you have got Sophia, so it's pretending to be so you know, it was pretending to be right. the one. It, so you, you've got to just try and tap it, into what it, their, it their, their energy that I already hold, and then yeah, impersonating that. Yeah, it's a bit like some of the politicians at the moment with the masks on. <laughs> you don't know which one it is. Yeah, yeah I understand that. Yeah. Is my connection to her intact? It does. It won't go away. That and that never goes away. Okay. She's probably let it go. Let you teach yourself to sort it out, like a yeah. lesson. All these lessons, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hear that one. Right. Did you have neck pain as well, or is that from my heart and fine? Do I have neck pain? Yeah. Nope. I mean, I chronically, have, I chronically have stiff neck and I get like a torticollis. I've had yeah. that for years. Have you got I it now? Because it, it feels like something's come over. I mean, when I do this, yeah, it's like neck and upper in here, traps a little bit. It's not bad. Yeah. Like, I've had severe pain in the past, so I I would never, it, it doesn't alert me to being pain, but when I do this, I'm like, yeah, a little bit, nothing big. Do you want, do you want two cards? Please, yeah. Just one set. I did the dreaded thing, I dropped the card. Hey, you Mirror. can always read the dropped cards. I never dropped cards. <laughs> My mum was alive they're, today. They're the, she... they're the most important ones. Miracles. See? Yeah. Just say stop. Or, stop. Yeah, me, me uncle, when my mum did a, a tarot cards, because my mum was a Sunday school teacher and a tarot reading a medium, so we had a crazy household of reading. Oh, and wait, me, 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 school teacher and a tarot card reader? And a medium, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> awesome. Enough. And okay. uh, my uncle was shuffling cards and he dropped the ace of spades three times and I laughed. I was seven and I said, I'd stay in bed for a month. He, he fell off a ladder the next day, broke his leg. I did warn him. I did warn him. Do you know, I'm going to shuffle them again because these are the same. Yeah, actually, sorry. These are the same cards as before. I shuffled them for ages. Right. Healing, playfulness, and I'll include miracles. Miracles is basically, if you want a miracle, just ask the universe, ask source for that, what you need. Yeah. Healing is letting go of your troubles. So, uh, just accept the healing. Don't focus on your problems. Playfulness is up time to play, basically. Yeah. So. Yep. That's what I've been doing. I just kind of had a fun night watching movies and, and that last night. So mm -hmm. being Good. more grounded in human. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Welcome. Beautiful energy. Thank you. Yeah. Gabriel's next. Daphne. Hey. Okay. Did you say, who'd you say? Okay. Gabriel. No, Daphne. Either one. Where's that? Where's Gabrielle? Where are you seeing this? On the chat. Oh, there. Okay. I miss Gabrielle. Sorry. <laughs> also, also, Natalie has said about Jen. I think she sent a private message for you in Bamstoke. Who did? Natalie was saying that Jen, I think your message somehow is di a direct message to me. Does anyone else see a, a yes, please, for Ealing? No, I didn't see Jen's yeah. message. I think she's... Um, Instead of sending it to everyone, she sent it to Natalie. Oh, okay. All right. So Gabrielle, Jen, and then Daphne. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. 
Sorry, Daphne. I did not see Gabrielle. Now I see it. See, we need an admin on, on <laughs> You need, no, I was going to say you need a mail. You need a mail. What'd you say? Nothing. I didn't say it. <laughs> uh oh, she's frozen. My eyes are open. Am I frozen? No. He says her eyes are open. I was going to tell a joke, but I will. <laughs> it's okay. I heard her. You there yet, Gabriel? Net worth man with his low. No kidding. That was like the light language, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Does that help? Can you guys hear me? Should we go on, Bill? What? To the next one? Well, I advise Gabrielle to go off and come back on. Go out and come back in. If she, well, I guess she figured that out. Okay. So, Jen. Jen's. There Hello. You. Hello, Hello, Jen. I'd just like to um, have a healing if that's okay. Yes. Yeah. You turn the light on. Turn my what on? Turn the light on. Great, thank you. Jeremy, <laughs> sorry about that. Who do we do next? G Gabrielle, can we do you after? We just started. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Jen, are you a healer? Mm, no. <laughs> I do support work. I'd love to be, though. We all I can. See, I see you as a healer. What sort of work do you know? Babies. Healing children. Okay. Yeah. Infants, toddlers. <laughs> Jen, you don't mind me asking, have you had the lollipop? Ha no. <laughs> no. I'm new, I'm new to all this, so I have no idea. <laughs> no. Have you had the, the you say. know, the, the shots in the arm that uh, um, those that's the lollipop. No. You know? The jabberwonky. <laughs> no, I have not had that. Excellent. <laughs> you got people around you. Uh, Picking up, you'll feel the energy of this. You have a you have a past life. You were um, a nurse in a hospital during the war, uh, wow. and, and you saved the ba the babies. Oh wow! Which is why I saw you as a healer. <laughs> you were a midwife too, in wow. another life. <laughs> Can you feel that energy? Do you have lower back pain? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Is that I yes, you can of... feel the energy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Straight down my spine, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I just sort of don't know what to do next to go in the direction I need to go, I guess. It's, just feel a bit stuck. You're not stuck. <laughs> at all. Okay, good. You have guides. And the guides are waiting for you to ask them to help you. Okay. And just, I would just say, find my joy. Thank you. And make sure I trip over it. That's what I did. And that's how <laughs> that's we ended up I mean. doing what, that's how we ended up doing this. I, and believe me, it works. Okay. You have Thank angels you. that angels protect you, guide will will do the work for you. They can see the future. We can't. Yeah. Uh, and I had no clue we were healers. And and this don't happen six, seven years ago. So and we're a lot older than you are. <laughs> so this this is um it's never too late. Thank but you. I definitely definitely see you as a healer or and um working with children. Okay, thank you. And it's gonna come from your hands. It's almost like it's even animals. Like you you're you're a comforter, you're a nurturer, and you just pick them up and and you're healing them. Just I, I see it. Your hands have the healing energy. Okay. Jen, have you had an headache recently? I get them often, yeah. Yeah, it just came over. You gotta trust your trust spiritual healing. You gotta trust it. Your your belief yeah. system is a bit vague, if you get what I mean. You, <laughs> vague is a good word for me. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta trust it. That's the biggest the biggest thing that we we do. We talk ourselves out of it. This is the ego. Stay, yeah. If you stay in the heart, your heart is always going to be the truth, always the truth. 
this yeah. is going to tell you, no, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> you Don't listen to your ego. Listen to your okay. heart and trust the messages that you get. Thank you. Your messages are always going to be from your angels, from your guides, and from your the, 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 the knowledge that you, for all the other lifetimes that you've had, that's all your knowledge base. And that's coming to you. It's all going to come back to you as you trust it. Yeah. And also, you, you, you pick up signs on the way. Yep. Yeah. I had one where I was healing someone and the healer said, you had wings out of your back. Or another mm-hmm. healer said, you got silver trail coming out. These are signs of what my aspect was. Wow. So, you got two cards. I think you need three. I'll give you three, actually. <laughs> they start. Stop. That's a good one. Yeah, these are the cards I would have picked. Do some meditation. You mm-hmm. get spiritual growth, self acceptance. I think that's the one. Yeah. So yeah. 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 So you're too far difficult on yourself. Start loving yourself. Stop being serious. Spiritual growth. Uh, stop fearing your situation. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Follow your art. Let let the let it flow. And meditation, which is the third one. Your mind's funny. Fun. You got brain fog. That's what's giving you the headaches. Meditation will shift it. Okay. It's it's because you're not sure which direction you're going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're stuck yeah. on your direction and it's causing this brain fog and headaches and everything. My father just told you today you're a healer. Okay. Trust it all. Trust it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't even know when I signed up for this or anything today, so <laughs> just saw it well, come up. There, and, there yeah. are no mistakes. <laughs> no, that's right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, Gabrielle. You're are with you fro- us? Are you frozen again? I'm with you. <laughs> can you see I'm me? Joking. Yes, yeah. we can see you. <laughs> oh, your bandwidth went low again. Oh, man. I, uh, I think my... Oh boy! Now we can't. Shall we send, shall we send some energy in the, the bandwidth? Yes. Let me see if Mom's connection works. No, no. Try it now. I'm giving it energy. Just try it. Okay. All right. Can you feel that energy, Gabrielle? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling, Gabrielle? Um. Yeah, I've been feeling a little tired lately. Um, Are you nauseous? You throwing up in the morning? No, um, not yet. So uh, some different things have been happening. Um, the um, I had an ultrasound done to figure out why I haven't been able to get pregnant. And they did find some follicles in there that showed that I had PCOS. What's that? It's a... Um, hormone uh secretion deficiency like um it can be linked to like your um like hyperthyroidism or possibly like epstein bar virus but basically like to heal pcos they either give you metformin or they encourage you to like lose weight yeah um that way your ovaries can go back to you know because I guess if you're overweight you hold estrogen in your fat cells so then your body starts producing testosterone and not like ovulating when it's supposed to yeah so I was hoping if you guys could send me some healing I wasn't sure if there was an issue with my thyroid um I know I had got healing like way back when we started for my thyroid um yes that's right from you guys yes so I was just curious what you guys picked up on and what you thought about taking the metformin. Cause I'm not big on taking medicine and my, uh, my lipid panel or my insulin is normal, but um, it's also shown to help people like have more energy and with people with PCOS to lose weight. So I've kind of been like, what's, what did they want to put you on? Metformin. And it's 500 milligrams once a day right now, but then it would go up to two and it just seems like a lot of medicine. And yeah, exactly. So I was curious what you guys thought and felt. There is a 
doctor and I will send you a link to him. He uh -huh. is, he works with the St. Germain. Okay. Actually. And um, everything he sells is all natural for your body. Um, be good. Yeah. They actually took his license away because he cured cancer. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he he wasn't, yeah, they took it away and they put him in jail um, and uh, because he cured cancer without using the, the normal uh, stuff mm -hmm. that the government approved. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, he's he's out of jail, but he's practicing as um, a naturalist, not as a regular MD. That's yeah. So somebody I was talking to was like, um, look into like a functional or integrative medical specialist was basically like. Yeah, acupuncture he's, yeah well, he's actually yeah. Is, he doesn't do acupuncture but he does um um natural he, path type. He actually chant like, like well saint germain actually came to him in physical form and um he works with him in um he's a, he's out of utah he does a lot of um speeches and what and does uh -huh. other stuff too but he he has diet um um drops that uh work Actually, That'd be great. Yeah. So I would I would go through him before I would do any other stuff, but I'll, I'll give you his information. Thank you, Deb. I really it's appreciate it. It's all vitamins it. and it's all stuff like that. And it really does work if you stick to it. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. Yeah. Anyway. Um, you got two cards, Gabrielle. By the way, you had a, you've got a bit of pain yeah. in your back. I shifted. Yeah, I, I saw the same thing and <laughs> the lower <laughs> back again. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Just say stop. Now. Is that now stop? Yes, that's stop. <laughs> but I still, but I still see, I still see you pregnant this year for some reason. So. With twins. <laughs> I hope so. And I'm. Yeah. I, I don't know why I still see you pregnant this year. I'm still getting it. Study, uh, study, learn new skills, ideas for your growth, oh, and retreat. Nice. So you need a break and all a day on your journey. Oh, there you go. Me? Yeah. Have a break on your journey. And study. Yeah, study I've been some... studying. That's true. That's there true. I've been okay. So um I've got an interview on Monday for a dispensary, which I'm really excited about because I've been praying to work in that sort of healthcare field, you know, that's more herbalistic. So fingers crossed it goes well. Um, I've been studying that and also like um, tarot. So I've been reading a lot of books. So that makes sense. Yeah. But so. when you do tarot, get the basics and then uh, use your heart chakra to get the messages. Yeah. yeah. I, I stopped doing tarot when I was about nine. I used to do Alistair Crow Crowley. <laughs> so I was quite dark because he's a baby. <laughs> so yeah. I, I used love to love it. I used to love his cards because they were alive. So. So they used to come alive. You used to see them alive. Right. Hey, now it's Daphne. <laughs> hello, hello, Thank hello. You. I just want to say, oh. Gabrielle, what a beautiful soul you are, sweetie. And I do too see you at being, being a, uh, getting pregnant very shortly. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm so excited about that, guys. I appreciate this journey. Okay, so just a, sorry, I haven't been on back with you for a while. Um, That's all right. I yeah. miss you though. Thank you. I miss, miss you. your people. light. I miss you. <laughs> Glad to share it. Um, a lot of magical things. Um, a lot of healing coming in, merged with uh, a diamond crystal light being. Um, I've had visitations with uh, different light beings and, and diamond crystal light beings in the past and this one uh, um, wanted to come in and merge and uh, yeah, right away got to healing, doing a lot of good stuff. So I'm imagining I'm probably in very, very good shape. And uh, I got a question for you, Phil, before you do your scan. Um, oh. Has anybody come up with a universal um, air miles plan? I mean, I tell you, jumping around to parallel universes and then going up to healing chambers and ships. If I had a universal air plan, air, air miles plan, I could be traveling all over the place. I have no <laughs> idea. I don't, hmm. I don't know what I do at night, but I, I have a, I have a, a mark. I must've been, it looks like a bite mark. I don't know what happened in, at night. <laughs> uh, 
I, I was doing some uh, meditation the other day and I had a, I, it was like I was touching acid. Uh, David said it was, uh, I was in a dragon's mouth and oh, a symbol came out of me I, instantly. Mm. While I was awake, I could feel it. It was painful. <laughs> right. So the other thing, when, when I do healing, I like to open the eyes and see the energies of the room, and it's just like the matrix. Yeah, it's just like, but it's not green light. It's just you just see the energies. And you can use your hands to manipulate the energies. Mm -hmm. it's quite quite uh, strange. Right. So, but you're you're on holiday all the time in Astra. <laughs> well, I I don't I don't think I've ever well not knowingly consciously chose to go into the astral right so you know everything's like a, a an experience in dream state and visions whether it's conscious or subconsciously you know but uh i've never chosen to visit the astral or you know leave my body <laughs> it just happens <laughs> yeah. I, yeah i i've only done it once when i followed bill there during a battle yeah. Consciously. Yeah. Yeah. You watch. <laughs> right. I, I want, well, no, I did that lasso once. <laughs> yeah. One time to help you. But right. that was one time. It was battle. That's it. I don't remember yeah. any other time going. The only pro <laughs> problem with a battle, if you get injured, your brain turns into a physical for a few days. And uh, the worst thing I ever did was get two sprained ankles. A multi-dimensional mm. demon took both, damaged me both ankles, and the kids were thinking, "You go to bed and you got two sprained ankles." Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but right. uh, I think I think on one of these, a dragon clawed me, and I took a picture, and it was very very faint. The next day, they dipped up deep, so it right, got I think, worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you showed a picture. You posted yeah. a picture one time, and that yeah, was probably it, it. It got worse as uh, twenty four hours. Very right. weird. Yeah. It was pretty bad. Mm. Yeah. That's my negotiating with a, a guardian dragon. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. So physically, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling like really good. You know, I mean, I'm going through all kinds of, uh, you know, head healing, pressure, different things happening. Uh, and um, the energy sometimes. Um, <laughs> I can't concentrate to do anything, so I just kind of lull through the day, and <laughs> that's how I am. You know? And I do a lot of lulling lately, you know. I said to Rick, I said, I don't feel like I'm in my body today. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine if I had to work a nine to five job. Like, am I going to be there tomorrow? I really can't tell you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's how you I know? feel. Yeah. I don't know how these people are doing it. I know, neither do I. Right. Right. So, yeah. But anyway, just, yeah, if you just want to, um, you know, since I'm here and I haven't seen you for a while, do you want to just do a quick scan? And if there's any, well, you know, divine message you want to share or through the cards, I appreciate do, it. Do you want some energy as well from uh, higher, higher oh, dimensions? For oh, for sure. I would never turn away. Okay. Thank you. I have Gabriel. He says he's been with you. Have you felt his energy, Archangel Gabriel? Um, not really said he's been with you for your th humans three uh, three days human <laughs> ah, three days human okay it's what you would call three days yes yes and that is like when i really got hit hard with the energies yeah oh hang on no okay but yeah that was whenever the energy came in really powerful here and i got a lot of healing I wonder if that was the entity hmm he said i'm surprised you didn't see me Oh, I'm surprised too. Yeah. I felt a fairy yesterday. I was leaning over a craft project on the floor with branches and uh, all of a sudden I could feel fairy wings fluttering in the, the edge of my hairline. <laughs> I didn't see Archangel it. Archangel but... Gabriel said there were 12 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just were letting me know, you know, we like what you do and you're creating all this nature stuff for us, you know, for outside. Yeah, dude, there were 12. 12 of them, wow. That was beautiful. They were, yes, they were sending you a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. I've been in a very creative, you know, flow. I had and a little, little cocoon. He said you had a little cocoon of love around you. <laughs> That's beautiful. He's showing me. You had a real, it was a, quite a lot of uh, fairies and what are those? Pixies. 
I, yeah, I didn't know what they were. <laughs> <laughs> They're bigger than fairies. Well, fairies come in different sizes too. Well, the males, are, the males are bigger than the females, but pixies are, are, are a little bigger than the um, fairies. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about the pixies. I was like yeah. looking at them going, what are those? Yeah. Thank you, Phil. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen fairies. They've come, I had one come right up to me at my, when I was staying at my mom's and it was like a shadow, but it was a total silhouette filled in and it came and zipped and it came right in front and stopped two feet in front of me. And then whoop, took off again, right? Yeah, Rick sees them all the time. They land on his hands. Yeah, I love it when they play with the kitty cats. It's like, come find me, come catch me on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I'm so happy for you, Gabriel. Thank you so much for being with me. Yeah. Can you feel that energy, Daphne? Oh, I felt it right away as soon as you started there, Phil. Thank you so much. I've got to let me dog out, by the way. <laughs> you what? I've got to let me dog out. <laughs> don't we call see, it to free i don't see any health or any health issues at all you look good thank you yeah besides even if i had anything it would just be temporary because i'm on complete healing mode right now so you really um, are you look yeah looks great everything is just such a bright light around you mm, yeah and i will be actually even getting brand new teeth because i've got new stem cells being created inside yeah great Mm -hmm. Oh, it's wonderful. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Still, you know, give what I can when it comes to healing and, and uh, you know, just putting the love out there and, and helping other people to find their own hearts and that. And uh, I know whatever my gifts, I have many of them. I know they'll expand in divine time as long as I put the intent, the intention out there. Yeah. We'll just, Bill just has to come back and give you your card. Mm -hmm. Be done. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. It was so good to see you. Oh, thank you. I'm going to try to come back again. Like, yeah, I'd, I'd love to come every time you have a, you know. Oh, thanks. Next week, the next two weeks, um, there's uh, next weekend and the weekend after. Mm -hmm. Do you still have your kitty cat hanging around? Oh, my. Yes, yes. And during this time when, when Gabriel showed up. Oh, she, she's just been so attentive. It's like she did. I had to, I had to push her out the door and make sure she went home. <laughs> Look, the owner actually comes and comes and gets her because uh, she doesn't want to go home sometimes, especially when it's starting to rain. So That's surprising. The owner comes to pick her up. <laughs> you want some cards? I would love one. Thank you. Just one? Sure. Whatever you think. Whatever you think. Whatever comes. Yeah, okay. Say stop. Uh-huh. Stop. Meditation. So yeah, basically, if you mind's a bit fuzzy now and again, calm it down. Yeah, so I'll you, start you can hear the candle. So you can hear the angels. Right. Yeah, and answered prayer. Mm. No prayers are being answered. Mm. That's good. And I have yeah. asked for a few things, so woohoo. <laughs> yeah, they never answer mine. <laughs> right. They don't listen to mine. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Mine's you only so yeah, mine's a lottery win, so <laughs> nah. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Deborah, are you feeling a little better now? I'm getting there. Boy. Uh, I was, when, you were, when you were both given healing, I was trying to give you a little comfort too. Thank and I'm you. going, Deb, please accept this healing. Please I am much healing. better than I was. I had not had a cold in 10 years, but that our trip back East, um, I caught something. Right. Mm. But it was just weird. Weird that I caught it. I could feel when I got it too. It, it was when it was 26 below when I, I, I this wind hit me and I yeah. I felt it right then and there. It I'm, was the weirdest thing. I'm getting honey and ginger honey. Yeah. I, yeah. I, well, I need to get local honey now. I've got an allergy. <laughs> allergy. Yeah, but ginger. Grate some yeah. ginger and make a tea. Okay. That's what I got to get some ginger. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Wilma. You're welcome. Wilma, there she is. Hello, my darling. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Oh, yeah, hanging in there, <laughs> like always. <laughs> I saw you earlier. You were watching a musician. You're back home? You were yeah, that was this morning. Um, that was a young man who was on the Australian uh, Voice. Was it? Yeah, The Voice uh, in oh. Australia last year. Um, he didn't win it or anything, but uh, he was from here, where I am now, Tamworth. And um, 
I th- you know, he was quite good. So I'd seen on the local um, Facebook thingy that I follow uh, that shows events in that locally, and I'd seen that he was um, performing at our local shopping centre this morning, so I thought I'm going to nick out there and have a bit of a listen, and I'd still be back in time for Deb's meeting. So <laughs> that's what I did. Oh, good. He's very good. Mm. Yeah, I was listening to him. He is good. Yeah, he's 16 or 17. I didn't realise the voice was everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We've you've got it over there. We've got it here. Yeah. I don't watch it. I, I think they might even have watch it. In the UK. I, watch it. I don't watch it. I, I don't watch hardly any TV. Well, it's one of the few things that I do like to watch because I really enjoy listening to the different. The other thing I watch is home in, home improvement and you know decorating and tearing down and building. Oh, and that's not my bag. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been addicted for twenty five years. <laughs> I just yeah I love the voice and I like Australian Idol because they're both they're both about singing and I love to hear the voices and how they sing and I kind of sit there and judge them <laughs> not in a bad way but you know yes yes yeah yeah, yeah. Well, no, well, well I like watching I like watching Star Wars because it reminds me of when we got a beating when we were doing the Orion Wars <laughs> so just the same I don't have any memories of the Orion Wars although I do I do believe um, I may have been involved somehow but I'm not sure how. I, I got me head caught. I have no them. memory. I have no memory of that. Mm-hmm. I have no memory at all. <laughs> no, no. I do cool. remember having a meditation once where there was some sort of um, war and, and shooting stuff going on, and I, but I think the earth was involved, so I don't know if that was an Orion war. Prob- probably not. But, um, yeah, it was an interesting meditation because uh, the number 10 was involved somehow and there was this guitar that played music. It only had, it had 10 strings and you had to play certain notes um, and I don't know whether it was shooting rays or stopping rays from being shot down to earth, but it was, it was rather an interesting dream. I'd always remember that. Wow. Mm. I don't, I don't know if I dream. I don't remember anything. I wake up in the morning and I don't remember. Oh, this was thing. quite a few years ago. Um, if I do. Yeah, but now I'm not so good at remembering. Although if I do remember one, I know that there's definitely it's, something. It's in pretty, there yeah, it's it. pretty important mm-hmm. if I remember yep. something. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. So let's see what's going on with Wilma today. Yeah, so I, um, for the most part, I'm pretty good. I mean, I've got a few physical things, but I'm shut out focus on those. I'm just like, I shut them to the side. Don't worry about that. Um, but in the morning, of the last few weeks, um, I wake up, not every morning, but quite regularly, where I just feel like pretty ratchet. Um, and I feel like my, my jaw is clenched and my, my, t- my chest is tight. And I just feel blah you know, like really tense and stressed. And I just, if this is when I wake up and then I'll, if I just lay there for about an hour later, I'm like, I'm okay, I can get out of bed now. And then I'm gone and I'm fine for the rest of the day. And, and I don't know why that is occurring at the morning. You're coming back from the astral. Mm, I kind of thought that. Mm, okay. You're worn out as well. Yes, I would say I, I wake up more worn out than I was when I went to bed because I'm usually quite lively when I go to bed and I wake up feeling absolute blah. <laughs> I would ask when you go to bed. Uh, I only do our, our th- the, the astro work can be hours and hours. it can be a week. You can be out for a week, but ask it. Ask them that you need more sleep. You need more rest. I've actually been getting some more uh, some more sleep of late, uh, and I don't feel tired or unrested. Uh, like mm. you know, generally during the day, um, it's just that I feel that like that when I wake up in the morning. So mm. I suspected it was related to astral work, but. Um, I'm unsure. She should ground herself before she gets out of bed. That's what you told me to do, Phil. Yeah, I know. I was another. I was when I was with someone else. <laughs> yeah, ground is always worth doing. Before you get out of bed. Yeah, been working how, on it. How, how do you ground yourself? When I get out, when I before I get out of bed, or I, I, I'll sit up first and put my feet on the floor. There's actually this little uh, light language phrase that I picked up from Judy Satori, which protects your energy. Um, and I'll say that three times and um, then I'll get up and do my business. And I think I probably ground in the shower, actually, to be honest. It's the first thing I want to do is shower. If I don't shower in the morning, I don't feel right. So I get into the shower. I'm under that water. It's just like, oh, I feel like I'm at home now. Like, it's just, this is wonderful. Um, and I'll quite often just start chanting in the shower or speak, speaking a bit of light language. So I think maybe I ground myself in the shower in the morning. But that's just what I think. A good way of doing it, shower. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And, uh, and then during the day, if I'm having um, my morning tea, my, my afternoon tea, depending on where the shade is, I'll sit with my chair against the, the footpath, but my feet bare on the, on the grass. 
and I'll just read a book for an hour or something while I just, you know, play with the grass with the bottom of my feet. <laughs> I ground my, myself before I get out of bed in the morning, <clears throat> only because I'm, I'm usually in pain be, before, because when I wake up, I'm in agony. And if I ground myself, the pain goes away. It's interesting because um, I do, when I wake up, like even though I've got all that tense feeling and anxiety and everything, um, I wake up without a headache. The headache sort of comes in about, I don't know, 30 seconds or a minute or so later. It's not until I'm actually sort of awake and conscious and then I feel um, a headache coming. It's not a biggie. It's just a, like a nuisance one. And it will go away once I'm up on my feet moving about. But I just thought it was odd. I'm not waking up with a headache. I wake up and the headache occurs after I've woken, which is, mm. I thought, rather strange. And that goes along with the ear thing, the buzzing in the ears. It can be really loud with that headache as well. So they seem to be occurring together. So I wasn't sure if it was a physical thing or a, you know, spiritual or energetic uh, you're getting the you're getting the noise in your ear. Oh, yeah, oh, so, so loud sometimes, and it's and it's 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 fine during the day, but maybe that's because there's noise going on around, and I don't really notice it so much. But at night time, particularly when I go to bed, I'm like, oh my god, it's like they turn the volume up. You can ask them to turn it down. Okay, you can I'll do that. You I can do that. You actually have a ship right over your feet where you live, right above you. Awesome. <laughs> I've been looking at the sky of an evening. I'm like trying to find them, but I don't see them. And yesterday I went to an astrology well, it's, center. Which well, it's, just, would they really show themselves? Well, <laughs> probably not, but they might have a star out. or something, you know. You have one, and it's a huge one. It's right wet, right above you. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. Thank you so much. Wilma, try straying while you're looking up. Try yeah. what? Straying, uh, blurring your eyes. Try and look out of focus. Oh, and okay. When you, when you look out of focus, your brain's yes. not taking it out and you can look at it slightly into 4D. So. Okay, thank you. Because the strips it. are probably in 4D. Yeah. Or yeah. cloaked, You're probably cloaked. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's your people. It's your people. Love it. I went to an astrology centre yesterday. Uh, I've known that they were there and I've been keeping wanting to go, but I just happened to, it was actually quite accidental because they're near botanical gardens and I wanted to go to the botanical gardens and, just sit around and be in nature and that. And then I saw the astrology center and I went, oh, I was going to go there. So I, I popped in there and had a look. And it was so fascinating. Um, and on Thursday nights, every Thursday night, they um, open the, the ceiling, of the, the roof of the building and the telescope goes up. So I'm going to go there. Oh, can't go next Thursday. I won't be here. Oh, yes, I might. Um, so I'm heading down to Sydney on, on Friday. I'll be gone for a week. But, um, yeah, I plan to do that on a regular basis. And apparently you can join their little club and, you don't have to pay when you go then. But I just thought it'd be really cool because, like, all these, I'm, like, looking around, I'm, like, man, these are all these geeky nerds. I'm loving it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all interested in the stars and they had all these beautiful photos. I was there drumming it. Oh, my God, I'm, like, loving it. Um, and they had crystals, like, you know, the raw in the rocks, and selenite and sodalite and um, uh, aragonite. And, and I'm just, like, I just stood there for half an hour just looking at all the, all the rock displays with the crystals. Could you, could you feel the energy from them? Well, they'll be behind glass, so it's a bit hard. Oh, crap. Um, oh, yeah, crap. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, didn't stop me from getting excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm coming back. That sucks. The, the, headache, the headache, Wilma, is your, when, you, when your soul comes back from a higher dimension, it's got to park up, and it's as well you're going in your body and then your spirit or soul, sorry, it's connecting and it's trying to get used to it and it creates the headache because of the frequency you brought back. So tell them to pass, tell them to come back slower. Okay. Yeah, I do kind of have a habit of coming back quickly. I do the same in meditation. I just, I come back like that. Well, when I when I come back, I shake because I go straight in and I, I can't park and it, my body starts shaking. <laughs> so healers have said, why were you shaking there? I'll just park in your vehicle. Not very good at it. Thanks for that advice. How are your knees? <laughs> Funny you should say that. My right knee, uh, for years I've had trouble with it, but, you know, it got after the last session I had with you guys and uh, Phil removed the lost soul that was attached to my knee, it's been doing really well, except for the last three days. Um, it started to play up again. So interesting you should ask that. Because I just looked at them. And my eye, I'm getting another eye infection. Right eye, of course, everything's on the right-hand side, as we discussed last time. 
So I can feel I've got a, another eye infection starting to want to manifest. So, you know, I give it salt bars and that. I started that with that this morning. But I'm like, what is it with the eye infections? Get lost. <laughs> I've got a big drive down to Sydney in a couple of days' time. I don't um, want to bed. Let me take care of the knees. Bill, can you take care of the eye? <laughs> that feel a better. Yeah, there's no soreness there, but I've got a little bit of like when I look around, I can see like it's blurry, like I'm looking through water. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you have pain, pain? Not in your back, slightly on the side of your back. On the right-hand side, on my right-hand yeah. side. Just yeah, did, yeah. I just did a healing there. So I went down the spine, across the hips, down the leg, into mm. the knee, and down. It's just I was getting the pain. That's it. Drink a lot of water. That's going to stay there for a week. Um Everybody that had healing today, it's going to be seven days that the uh, that mm. Phil and our healing will be with you. Um, I don't know why you keep getting like this pink eye. I don't see it anymore. It's gone. Got a lot of heat across here now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what, what I've been oh. told, Wilma, bring in channeling diamond divine white light. Yeah. I've actually Did been doing that, that the last well, few days. Um, yeah. But I, you know, I channel it into me and then I send it out. Actually, I was sending it out this morning while I, while I was at that little concert in the shopping centre, sprinkling it around to everybody. Try and anchor it in. Anchor it in. Okay. So like a grounding. Okay. And I'm obviously... Just, yeah, uh, I'm cheering. Yeah, you can use many of the other chakras, but divine crystal light, that's highest. I, I, I don't know where that comes from. So okay. I don't use that. I've just been told you should use it. So. Yes, I actually do work with divine crystal and light quite regularly uh, or it or it presents to, uh, to me quite regularly um well, actually, so you haven't just, done it you haven't done it regularly recently um probably not so recently no but no, last week <laughs> maybe not this week yeah. i think they're laughing at me <laughs> <laughs> the ancestors said they're going to assign you another um, guide, a female, oh, a female indigenous, a female indigenous. Excellent. Channel the light on your eyes. That's what it is. Flush your eyes need flushing. Use diamond white light on your eyes. Right. Okay. Yep. I try to you. use it. That's what I was trying to do then as well. But I don't, you know, Michelle? use that energy. So. Okay. So just say stop. Stop. So serenity, which I can say right now, and surrender and release. Yeah. Uh, surrender and release. Yeah, that one, so, that one resonates. <laughs> peace of mind is within you, so long as you uh, <clears throat> stop hanging on to your worries. So. Let the worries go and then you'll get surrendered. Serenity. Yeah. I can't say it now. Yeah, that's really interesting because I don't feel like I have any worries, but I get they I guess they must be unconscious or in the back of my mind that it's certainly not in the forefront. I'd be overthinking something sometimes over. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been accused of that many a time, overthinking. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Her name, her, her name is her name is Moon Willow or Willow Moon. I don't know which is it Willow. I think Moon? I've heard that name before, Willow Moon. I've heard that somewhere before or seen it somewhere before. Isn't that, well, isn't that funny? Isn't it? Well, I'm just she's, your, she's your guide. <laughs> Thank you. And she's the Indigenous one? She's your, yes, she's Indigenous. She's your guide for the rest of your journey on this life. Awesome. Thank you. Love you guys. Love you too. Yeah. All right. Let's see. There's an iPhone cafe. It says first time here. That could be healing. I don't know. If you're iPhone Kathy and you want healing, I'd just uh, go off mute and show you and just be visible. Hello, iPhone Kathy. <laughs> Next one is the uh, person here. Bidya, B I D Y A. Oh, yeah. Do I go off mute? Bidya, you are on mute. Unmute yourself. Um, there you go. Hi. Um, I would like the healing, please. Okay, can you fix it so we can see all of your face? Sure. There we go. We only saw your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm getting his throat. You having a throat and chest issues? 
I'm not really. I have a back and knee issues. Back? Your back? And, and knees also. Knees? Yes. Why am I getting you have a throat? This is a past life I'm seeing? Mm -hmm. She has an implant in the bottom of her back. So at, right around her waist, both her knees, and she has a tracker device in her right foot. Oh, I see. Have you had the um, shots? Pardon? Did you get any of the shots for? Yes, yes. For the cor coronavirus, yes. Okay. You asked to take what's not good for you, not for your eyes good, yeah? Do you want us to remove the toxins that are from the injections? Yes, please. You've, you've been implanted with devices. I just yes. need to let you know that. You see, could you please remove them? You should feel it, actually. Yes. Right. Can you feel that energy? Um, actually, I can feel a bit lighter. Mm. That was a big job. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You yeah, did you did you have some pain in the back of one of your heels? Pardon, I, I can't make. In the back you have of your heel. In the in the back of your heel, did you have pain? No, I don't have pain. I have pain only in my knees and my back. Mm. The, the the knee, I mean the back of the heel had a tracker. I was wondering sometimes you can feel it. How does your knees feel now? How does your body feel lighter and any as the pain gone down? Actually, my knees feel much, much better. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's the side effect of reversing it. Because <laughs> oh. it's, it's trying to get your body back to what it should be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I see. Do you want any uh, oracle cards, angelic oracle cards or not? Pardon? Do you want an you oracle want card? Oracle card or not to see what... Please. Yeah, Please. just say stop and uh, I'll give you... A, just say the word stop. Tell them when to stop, yeah. Yeah. Need to do some uh, a break from your journey and you need to do some uh, learn new skills. So a retreat, like a, a break, an holiday, recoup your energy and you could learn some new skills. Yeah. Okay. Well, and as Deb says a lot, the energy is with you for several days. Drink some water afterwards because you've had a, a big job done. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Did we do Natalie? Yes. Okay. Sorry if the alarm's scrolling and scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> what time are you on the chat, Deb? Pardon? What, what time are you? Is Rhonda. it Cindy? Is it Cindy next or Rhonda? I've got Rhonda. Do you have Rhonda next? What time? Who? What time? What time? At 6.38 p.m.? No, I've got uh, Cindy. 108. Who? Cindy. 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 108. Which to you will be, uh, I don't know. It's before. Isn't it? Okay, 6.08. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Just wanted to make sure my name got in for healing. Okay, sorry. I missed you. You're on mute, Cindy. Your lips are moving, but I can't hear you. How about now? There you go. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How have I been? Um, I'm feeling better health-wise. Um, I've got my weight down and, you know, some things under control and eating better. Um, I still work way too many hours a day, but I just, you know, uh, wanted to check in and see if there was anything I was missing or any messages or, and, and I heard someone make a comment earlier that really uh, struck me, um, a, a direction. I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, something new is coming and I know it's coming and I've been listening to my guides a lot more and well have you asked them to find your joy did you give them work to do in, in small in small ways yes I have huh in small you know, ways did you specifically say, 
specifically, <laughs> you know, uh, a better, uh, a job that fits my schedule uh, better with uh, competitive pay and this is what I want. And so well, I've, I've put well, some goals. If, if when you find your joy, everything else works in the right direction. So it's, it's not about money because, you know, if you find your joy, then it all, everything else is great. So you understand what I mean? Yeah. Because my joy is, I, you know, I hear people all the, all the time. And so, you know, that helps me in the job where I'm at, you know, I get the, because I can tell empathically, oh, and Hey, did you know you had this available to you, you know, um, with your whatever and so I'm still using my part but I feel more strongly drawn to that so that's what I'm trying to put out there well if you're happy in your job is that your is that your joy what you're doing you know in in your job now maybe that's your job or are you unhappy? no it's it's not my job it's okay I'm doing my calling but not in the setting that I would like to be I would like to be able to be more uh, vocal and and do more readings and do more of what I I feel drawn to do. Okay, again, your angels protect you. Your guide sit and wait for you to ask them to. So that's their job. You know, they can, because this is a free will world. They have you have to ask them. You have to you know instruct them. So I, and I didn't know that. I mean, the day that I sat that, sat here and said. I, joy or take me home is what I did. That's basically what I said. Find my joy or take me home. And by the way, make sure I trip over it because I'm a dip. <laughs> basically what I said. I was, I was sitting here with nothing to do. And I felt like I was wasting my time on this earth. I wasn't helping humanity. And I didn't know what my calling was. I was retired. Rick was still working only because he wanted to pay off our debt. And, and here I'm, you know, I, I felt like I wasted my life and I'm still not, still didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. I finally said, take me home or find my joy. And that, and I was really at a point where I was done. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm that's, when it, that's when everything started happening. <laughs> yeah. Everything. And that's the honest to God truth. That's what, ha- that's how everything moved. And I feel like that's what's drawing me because I've asked that same question myself. What just show me. What the hell, guys? Yeah. (laughs) So, but they say that I'm pretty stubborn and I, yeah, I'm like you. You got to trip me. You got to smack me. Well, I got to make sure I see it because I'm really not, you know, I can sit here and something could be right over here and I don't see it because I've, I've got, I'm thinking about a thousand different things. Mm-hmm. Just ask Phil. I make all these mistakes just splitting the money <laughs> on PayPal. <laughs> oh my God. You're not friends. No. I've sent 13 pence instead of, you know, like it just it's just dumb. I, I hit the wrong <laughs> buttons and I hit enter by mistake. And yeah, it's, 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 never, it's never too high. It's always very low. <laughs> it's, it's my, I'm telling you, I'm a dick. Mm-hmm. My uh, older you said, get old, you make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> it's the three D woman inside you. That's where that's, it is. It is. It's true. Maybe it you need more caffeine. The, yeah, three D woman makes a lot of mistakes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you just you have, but you have to trust that they'll do this, and and you have to trust that it's it's the right timing. You can't mm-hmm. lose. You can't. You can't have. You have to have a lot of patience. I've had a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm still holding on some days, I think, by my fingernails. But, but you have I, to ask them specifically. You can't just say, you can't say it in your head and think that they've heard you. You have to say it out loud and you have to be specific in telling them instruction. You cannot just, you know, say it in my head, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, like this. You have to be specific and you have to be loud about it. This is what I want. And this is, well, this is what, this is the job I want you to do. And then be patient, really, truly. I will definitely you have, you have, out. we all have a lot of guides, and sometimes they send in a team just for that. So have patience. They don't let you down. They don't. I will. Um, the other thing, well, I was just 
I think I have maybe an implant. And you know what? Um, may not look like what you think it is, but you have to trust it all. All of it. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Oh, You're welcome. Good to see you. Good to, be able good to, to see you too. Not too cats. We're back. We're back. It's 2023 and we're back. <laughs> That's right. 2023. You can't mess with me. Do you want a card? No. Card? Stop. That's it. Ah. <laughs> Support and romance. Yeah. Your praise for love being answered and support. You're only a part of beings around you. Let them help you. There you go. I will. Thank you very much, Phil. Okay. You've got a team around you. Just get them to help you. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Rhonda now. You ready, Rhonda? Please check for implants, trackers in right hand, middle finger, and in stomach. Please check for what may be in stomach, causing heartburn, ache in lower back, right side, headaches, head pressure in front and back, ascension symptoms, question mark. Lastly, I feel like I should be doing more. Is there a message from me, please? Love you all so much. Thank you for all that you do. Okay. Hi, if you Hi, think guys. you should be doing more. If Happy you New think Year. Happy New Year, Rhonda. If you think you do, it should be doing more. You should be doing more because that's the intuition. Yeah, it sounds good by, to me. I'm by sure bringing you're right. it by bringing it up. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, I I'm sure you're right. And I've been asking, you know, my my guides, um, what exactly do, is it? Because uh, nothing's coming that uh, that I've gotten so far. So I mean, I'm letting things kind of progress organically. Um, it just I don't know. It seems like, like I said, I, I should be, uh, I feel like I should do more. Um, and I'm just asking the question and I, I, I'm still waiting for answers. So I guess I'll continue to wait. <laughs> okay. Which I'm trying to figure out what she's got in her. You look, can you take your glasses off for me for a minute and look in the camera? I can't see your eyes. It's too dark. Hold on. Hold on. Do you feel like you have somebody inside you? Uh, somebody? No. There was a, there was a, um, about two months ago, there was a pain. I mean, it was intense. It was sharp and it went basically stomach or maybe, you know, solar plexus. And uh, it, it just went in there um, maybe, I don't know, two seconds. I mean, it was bam. Oh my gosh. Um, so I don't know. And then on my right hand, I had a cut right here on my finger. And I was like, that's odd because it's just a weird thing, right, for me. Um, so I don't know what that was about either. You feel the energy? Yeah, I do. I feel something. The whole top part of me is uh, chest to uh, torso is really intense. My God, my head is pulsing. My my team, Rhonda, took some out of your stomach. I don't actually know where it is. It could be a, part, a spiritual parasite, but I'm not 100%. It's gone now anyway. Yeah, I haven't seen that before, so I don't know where it is. Yeah, I, 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 it looked like a person, but I only saw a hand. It was the weirdest thing. It's dark anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, that, that surprises me. Actually, that really does surprise me. Um, I would never have guessed that it was a being. So, um, yeah, yeah, we didn't say a being. It was say something that. negative, but I've never seen it before. I couldn't see like a, a whole person. Like a, para a spiritual parasite, not a being. Yeah, a uh, parasite. Right. So, yeah. it's parasite. like a lower, it's like a being, but lower. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it might have come in no. when you put your finger. I don't know. You might have deliberately yeah. put your finger to get in. Bring your aura field. Okay. Any idea where it came from? How it got in? Yeah, from your finger. <laughs> I'm guessing. I think it's your finger. But when you have a cut, it can damage your aura field, and that's the well, only aura field we can think of. This, yeah. The cut. The cut was very recent. I mean, this was like you know maybe a week and a half ago. But this other thing where the intense pain was, um, that was two months ago. I don't so, know how it got in there. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I, I am guessing that if you get a cut, it can 
a parasite can get in there because your flu broke. So have you had any falls or any, have you, have you been ill? A lot of times when you're ill, your aura field goes very, very low. Um, I was ill uh, quite some time ago, but I got over from, from that. And mm. then um, not really, no. Mm. Well, it can go in and be dormant for a while. It could be a year ago, and then it's been dormant, feeding slowly. Mm. And it get, but what happens with parasites, they get greedy and all of a sudden they need to create the pain to feed on the pain. And that's when you start noticing them. That's why people have injuries for 20 odd years and the doctors don't know what the pain is. It's the parasite feeding on it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought the pain in the stomach was the heartburn problem that was causing this. It's been, I mean, just all of a sudden, like three days in a row now. Yeah, and but what, what's causing the heartburn? A parasite. Uh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. So it was that. Did oh, just have to find your body more. Clear it out. Oh, yeah. Clean it out more. Okay. You know, and I've been, I, I have been lax on doing it every day, especially where I'm living now is very cold. So it's difficult to be outside um, like I would like to be, but um, yeah, I, I know even inside I, I, I can do it, but uh, like, right. I, I if you ever have, if you ever have acid problems again, uh, should I be, t I'm just asking me guys, should I be telling you? Okay, right. You put your hand in a ball and you manifest a slug-like being that eats acid and you program it so it relieves alkaline. And then as, you, uh, as you're visualising this creature, this being dead small, then you send angelic light into it to give it life and you put it in your stomach. Ah, okay, okay. You know, yeah, so I I've, that... got, I've got, I've got like 50, 50, 50 percent of me guys said, yeah, it's okay. And the other fifty percent, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of an argument around. I, I had thought it... about like doing that with concocting a, um, um you know, a pill, basically. Yeah. You know, yeah, you give me the that. ingredients and rubbing it. You know, putting it into a pill form and taking that. Um, hmm. So that's what I had. If 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 I wasn't going to be able to get through, I basically would have, you know, done that. But um, if you, if you yeah, ever design good. a being to to heal, you have a death scenario when it's done its job, a life and death. So when it's done all its job, it goes back to source, basically. Yeah. So say that again. So when it's if a you ever create a being to heal, it's got to do its course and then go back to source when the job's complete. Yeah. Ah. So you, you set the intentions inside the being oh i see yeah. okay oh that's really good very smart yeah. okay. I've, I've, I've just given some advanced healing technique thank you thank i'm you. not sure I if i should but nah. i'm too tired <laughs> I, to be to be bothered yeah yeah you guys have been doing this for a while thank you for that that's wonderful information yeah. um and I'm thinking all of the head and the pressure and in the back and the front i mean oh my gosh just intense pressure you need, you need to it pain creates pain and it creates stress and stress feeds the pain and it, you've just got to find a way of grounding it taking it just out just ground it okay okay um yeah. yeah makes a lot of sense um and then um have, have a being have a being in your head to eat your stress <laughs> i'm joking no no mm. i have enough in there going on thank you very much mm. <laughs> Um, the, I've, and, I've, I've, I've just been told I've just broken the rules. Yes, uh -oh. <laughs> I will break the rules. You old rule breaker. And the the back part of the um, my uh, the back side, right side. Um, I've had pain there. Is that anything? I've just, I just, <laughs> it doesn't seem to go away or lessen up. It's just sense of healing. I can't see out there. To be honest, that's the only thing I can see. Well, that's that kind. How's your mattress? Um, I guess comfortable enough. I'm getting a message at your mattress. Yeah, I'm getting pain in my back as well. Is it too soft? Sometimes it's going to be too soft. Really interesting. Put some wood on it. <laughs> sleep, <laughs> sleep on the sleep on the floorboards. I used to do that when I was younger, and I used yeah. to have pain. Well, I'm I'm st still sleeping in a couple places, but it's all good. It's it's all good. It's what's happening at the moment so i think the chaos in your life is creating all these problems in your head 
yeah, moving hmm. from one place to the other place, planning hmm. and everything in it, it, you're just keeping all of the stress for doing it. Hmm. So we'll let go of the stress. You know, that's funny. I don't I necessarily consider it chaos. It's hmm. just, it's part of my journey, yeah. I guess. It's kind of how I figure it. it it's chaos, but it's your journey. you got to <laughs> find a way. Okay. All right, it. fine. Yeah. you got to find a way of controlling it. Gotcha. you got yeah. two cards. Yes, please. Say stop. Stop. It's like trusting divine guidance, huh? Oh, that's spot on. So Her basically, if you hold divine on, guidance. yeah, if you're holding on to, you've got to let go of your past lessons. And if you let go of your past in, uh, lessons, then your intuition will come, and that's divine guidance intuition. Very good. Yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. You know, when I was asking for a message, and um, I guess that's that's exactly what I need. So mm. that that's really good. That yeah, both spot on. So mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Well, thank you guys. I You're love welcome. you so much. Love you too. Really honey. appreciate you all. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Hey guys. Hey. What's Hi. up? Long time no see. Really? Yeah. How you been? Oh. It, life got a little crazy the past year so i'm still here and kicking and you know doing the things it's things been crazy. crazy crazy for everybody these energies you know, are... hey things have gotten better though Good. so but uh i was just thinking you know uh saw from phil to pop in and say hi to everybody and you know throw us time to maybe get a scan see what you guys okay. find you look you, you look a lot better but... Yeah, in a lot of ways, definitely. Yeah. You want some healing as well? Might as well. Be great. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Definitely been a few months. Yeah. Were you under attack? Um, like now or? No. <laughs> I'm getting messages that you were under attack. Why am I getting these messages? Like you were under attack by negative, negative forces. Did you get really sick? No, I've been pretty healthy. My kid was. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. But uh, you know, uh, attack stuff isn't you know not common for me. Your, your your child was sick. Oh yeah, she had a virus or some. She had a hundred and three degrees for three weeks. Fever is is nuts. She's a, she's finally better, but I've been good. Weird. Why am I getting these messages? Have, have you been getting spiritual signs, dreams, or intuition? Uh, <laughs> I always have dreams. Um, Intuition, I guess, when something's been asked or, you know, looking for it. Hmm. I just think you're getting them. The, the attack could be on your daughter because they tend to go for your family. They can't get the actual person to go for the being around me. Just deliberately to make you stressful, make you feel this pain, if you get what I mean. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, almost everybody in my family, their kids, everybody, all everybody got sick except hmm. for me. It was pretty nuts. How did you handle that? Oh, I felt fine. <laughs> you know, I sent them love and healing. They all got better. Okay. But it was pretty crazy. I think you look a lot better than you. And two years ago, you look a, a, a lot better. Yeah. yeah, for the most part, feeling good. Um, my right knee, like, gives me trouble every once in a while. Sometimes I can clear it. Sometimes it just comes back. But uh, that and my lower back, you know, typical. Mm, interesting. Look what's in his right knee. You feel it moving? Do I feel what? When it hurts, you put your hand on it. Do you put your hand on it and does it move? Does it move? Do you feel pulses in it? No. That's Not really. Like, it's yeah. really weird. Sometimes it's like stabbing, sometimes throbbing, and then sometimes it just mm. comes and goes. Like I Sometimes I clear it out just fine, but sometimes it actually goes over to my left knee and then back over. I don't know. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it just sounds like a parasite. It does, doesn't it? Sometimes you live in one day and feed off the other. You've got some on um, <clears throat> your lower back. You've got implant. You've got tracking devices in you, and you've got parasite. <laughs> Boy, we always find something new and interesting in me. Yeah, you know, you might not be ill because you had parasites, spiritual parasites. Yeah, they might just... stop you being ill. <laughs> cool. We can do that. They don't want you ill, ill. 
They just want to feed off pain. Mm. Yeah. If you are ill, it's different than the pain. So yeah. If they move, they move through your nervous system. That's a Italian sign when you had pain on one knee and then it sh- sh- went to the other one. Uh, it forgot where it was living. It decided to do pain on the other one. <clears throat> you feel the energy? I can feel something. Still getting uh, some sharp pain in the knee. Left feels pretty good. How's the pain now in your knee? You can definitely feel the energies. It feels like on the outside of the right knee, something's a little wonky there. It's still it, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just throw a, an energy ball in it so you'll have healing okay. all over after about two weeks. It is the right side, isn't it? Yeah, right yeah. to you. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Did you feel it going in or not? I could sense something. Okay. Yeah, you can feel the hmm? kind of some cool, some soothing energies. Yeah. Good. Got two cards. For sure. Absolutely. Say stop. And stop. I'll pick you back three by mistake. Abundance, serenity, and freedom. That's, don't take your clothes off like this picture. <laughs> there are no mistakes, Phil. Yep. No. Arrival of spiritual growth or wealth. That's the abundance. Freedom. You feel trapped in a prison, but you have the keys to release yourself. Use them. And serenity. Peace of mind is within you. Okay. Sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Did Deb find anything on that <laughs> parasite? It looked like a, like a centipede, a black centipede. Yeah, it, did. Hmm? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I've got a team and one of his team eats them. So he goes from 4D and he just takes them out and eats them. Did you check one other thing for me? Check my third eye real quick. I've had some really interesting energies with it. <clears throat> it's been interesting energies the last three or four weeks anyway. Yeah. It's all right. Looks good. Yeah. Awesome. No, it's yeah. all right. Well, it's wonderful to see you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, it looks, mm-hmm. it was great. How are you doing, Phil? It's uh, what five o'clock in the morning for you? Oh, four. Yeah. <laughs> Phil doesn't like sleep, anyways, right? <laughs> this is when I start my astro work. They be, they be calling me now. Well, you've had your well, sleep now. Time to the astro work. <laughs> Zach is uh, the last one that I can see. Anyone else? I think uh, my, when, Wendy my... just added her name. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, my friend joined, and uh, I think she was going to ask for something, uh, Liz, but uh, okay, there she is. But yeah. go ahead, do your thing. Thanks, guys. Oh, there's Liz on, on as well. I think so. I think she'll post it. <coughs> Hello, Hello, Wendy. Hello. Hi. How are Hi. you guys? We're great. Are, are, you, are you promoting your YouTube on there? Yes, yeah, she, well, she's promoting, you know she's promoting her stuff on our on our. <laughs> I don't even promote mine. <laughs> for everyone. I'll share your link next time. <laughs> but I, I was thinking I should put you know, ours on there. Yeah. You know what happened is it was really weird. Like I had I had this like drop of water show up out of the ceiling and land on me. And I was like, what happened with that? And I was sharing that with Zach saying, hey, go check out our YouTube. And I thought, oh, I should probably just share that with everybody. And if they're interested, go check it out. But whatever. But anyway, so I was like, what, what is that? What am I seeing? So a lot of that like third eye, like eyes open things kind of happened for me as of late, like uh, maybe the last two or three months. So seeing auras and like seeing like like beans, you know, kind of around. Anyway, so I see this drop of water and I'm looking up going, okay, my ceiling is not leaking. Like where did this drop of water come in? It landed on my hand and I couldn't feel any wetness on my hand. I'm like, I'm so confused. Like my brain was trying to figure it out. And then I was like, well, did it not hit my hand and it hit the floor? Like, am I like getting this information correct? So I'm feeling the floor and the floor is not wet. My hand's not wet. And I'm like, I don't know. So I'm working with like another channeler. And then they said that it was um, a tear from Archangel Shamuel. And then I, so, and then I, a couple of days after that happened, I channeled Archangel Shamuel. And then after that, a few days after that, then I talked with the channeler and they said, that's what it was, was a tear from Archangel Shamuel and something about giving me energy, da da da. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so so those kind of things happen to me. But at the same time, like 
obviously the work we do, right. Getting attacked all the time. <laughs> like Zach, um, I have like stuff going on with my knees. My feet are itchy all the time. And, and then I, when I go to sleep, I get like, it tends to be my right calf. It's almost like something like latches onto me, like right as I'm getting ready to go to sleep. And so I've been doing, of course, grounding, clearing, and Phil since the last time, <laughs> and Deb, <laughs> and Rick since the last time, you know, that we had parasites removed. I feel like, I feel like what is happening is they're like, Oh, she's getting ready to go. Like she's getting ready to like pass out, go to sleep. And so just as I'm getting ready to fall asleep and I hit a high, when I go to sleep, I hit a high energy point where it's like, bzz, like the energy is just gets crazy when I get ready to go to sleep. It's almost it, like my feet. Did, yeah. Your feet sounds like you need to anchor the energy into the ground. It sounds like that's why you're having funny feet. If you get what I mean, it's, it's oh, grounding, yeah, but it's, it's not just grounding, it's anchoring each different energy. Uh, yeah, because yeah, there's been a lot the of new stuff coming in for sure. And yeah. then and then with the right calf, like it's almost, it, it feels like I'm being bit. It's all, and I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what's happening is the anchoring. Maybe that's the anchoring is, is it's like grabbing my leg and saying, okay, you're grounding, but you need to anchor. And maybe that's what that is. But anyway, that's what I'm wondering about. Okay. The, the other day, by the way, I uh, don't know if you can see it. I was meditating and I had a sharp pain on my leg and I had symbols coming in. <laughs> symbols coming on my arm. Oh my but God. The, pain, the pain was <laughs> oh, horrible. It's as well someone put acid on it, really. It's like I got branded. Someone branded my arm. <laughs> That so. I, I remember, okay, so before I was awakened, I, so I've had stuff happen, happen since I was like six years old. And I thought my journey started at seven, it started at six. I was confused about my timeline until my mother and I literally just the other day talked about it. And I was like, wait a second, 1968, I wasn't seven, I was six. I was not seven yet. <laughs> so anyway, um, when after we had after we had that conversation, so anyway, I've had stuff like happen all throughout my years. But Okay, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Talking about yeah, yeah. What did you just possible, say? It's a possible attacks on your leg. That's what we get. That's where we're going. Yeah, possible. It's either attacks on my leg or it's that we need to anchor. I I don't know, but it's mm. happening on my right leg, my right calf, um, and it almost feels like it almost feels like a like a hand grabbing it. But it's like a bite, like it's like, ow, like I'll just, I, I'll fill it and I'll be like, okay, clear. And then I'll bring in um, Sapphire Blue, you know, Diamond Cosmic. And then I'll pull in like, you know, the golden, um, golden Christ state energy. I'll pull that in. Uh, pla pla Christ energy, Christ consciousness, platinum energy, 22nd chakra. Yeah. Platinum energy. 20, 22nd chakra, bringing Christ consciousness, 22nd, pl okay, platinum right. ray, and then ground it. Now, some of the people have done the chakra slightly wrong, so you could Google it and they're slightly wrong. So Okay, yeah. And I have been trying one. to connect in with the 22nd chakra, so since last time mm. we were having that conversation about it. Yeah. But, um, it's, the, it's probably the best one. I've been going higher, but uh, they make me ill a little bit. It makes yeah. you, yeah, it makes you feel sick to your stomach. Like that whole yeah. quantum, yes. that whole quantum thing, when you start getting up into those higher realms, our bodies are just, we just really struggle. And I don't know if it's just our body, but I feel like because our bodies are part of the human collective, that's what I think the problem is. I think because we're part of the human collective and we're still tied into them, that as we start hitting those higher chakras, it starts to kind of make you feel sick to your, like sick, like sick to your stomach. Like it, what it is, we, we, yeah. we've got, most of us have got two DNA strands working, the rest are spiritually beings and only got six or seven. That's why we we got audio, you know, we've got all these psychic abilities. If you anchor all 36 chakras from 6D, you could get all 12 DNA. And then you could go on holiday with a portal. You could fly. <laughs> so I'm not there yeah. yet. <laughs> or or in my case, I've been told I'm a shapeshifter and they have to kind of like reel me in. But there's <laughs> there's been a few times like late at night, I'll be like taking my contacts out in the mirror and then all of a sudden like I feel like my eyes like start to bug out. Like they literally like start to like, like, like leer out of my eyeballs. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, who am I? 
<laughs> like what kind of a being am I? Then, then my eyes are starting to like kind of like come out of my eyeball sockets. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've shaped shifted to Hermes in front of people. You have? Oh my a, a 300 God. 300 year old alien. I've actually shaped shifted in my face as anyway. Oh my God. Yeah, this That's... medium it said it was the most scariest thing she'd ever seen in her life. And my sister said when I was about seven. I, I shape shifted into an alien being. Oh my gosh! That's that's my yeah. Hermes aspect coming in. That's all. Yes. <laughs> the the joy the joy of being an ancient soul. <laughs> okay. So exactly what do you what exactly what do you want us to do? So here? the so the right so trying to figure out what's happening with the right calf. Like why am I getting like bit right before I go to bed? Why is that happening? It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it has to do with your spine. I'm gonna make an adjustment on your spine. It's one of it's one of your uh the nerves on your spine that's connected there. You may feel this. So some of the some of the um nerves in your spine were rewired so that yes. this won't happen. You may feel that on your lower back and in your middle back. Okay. So what was happening? Was it like a problem with like a disc? It's almost like a pinched nerve in, mm -hmm. your, in your spine, which actually affects that part. Your spine, all your nerves are ending in your whole body or in your back. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that affected your calf and your thigh. And yeah, that's what was doing it. Oh, my gosh. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Wendy, I was picking yes. up that around you, it's not a trickster because trickster is evil. You've just got a, a being in 4D that likes to play with you, if you get what I mean. Likes to be uh, uh, mischievous. Uh-huh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I had the other day, I, I don't even know what I was doing. If I was just at work or having a conversation with somebody on Zoom, anyway, sitting there and all of a sudden I had like these chimes hanging like behind me and um, nothing's touching. It's, I, I can't explain it. Uh, I have like a, you know, my backdrop, my, I had like a drop cloth and then the, my chimes were like kind of just sitting and just laying in front of it. All of a sudden, tink, 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 tink. Like they started going off and I'm like, I kind of like turned behind me. I was like, um, who's there? Like nothing should be like messing around with my stuff. And, <laughs> and so I kind of had this idea that like something was like being like, just to be like annoying to be annoying mm. <laughs> it's not evil it's just a right just to play play around yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Huh. just Kinda name like it and say hello yeah you pick yeah. it I think, I think it it might be a pixie but it might be an alien pixie sort of thing if you get one it's it's not in our dimension so it could be in 4d <clears throat> and it's just a beer and just playing with you yeah probably so sees your light and just say right i'll but yeah pixie pixies normally do yeah. that don't they yeah, right away when you're talking about your leg, when just before you go to bed, I pictured a 12 year old looking under their bed to see what's hiding under there, right? So then that puts me to pixie, right. but they're just fun in you. You're on mute, by the way. You're on mute. mute. I, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not surprised. I have heard that I have elves and pixies and gnomes in my house that like to, and brownies and leprechauns. I, maybe one, be, maybe be two. Be careful, be careful with leprechauns. Dude. Oh, I know. Yeah. The leprechauns, I know. I actually saw a leprechaun when I was in Mount Shasta, and it showed up as a like a dark shadow. And I was like, hang on a second. I don't know that I like leprechauns, but I think it was me as a past life, future life. I don't know. But I think it's like associated with me. And But I saw it literally like come from the bottom of my feet and hop over across the room. I literally was like, like it like that, like, and I was like, what, what is that? And I was like, but I felt like that was a dark energy. And I'm like, yeah, leprechauns are not welcome. So y'all can't like, y'all have to stay doing your thing, but not being around me. You're not like a joyous energy. Mm. You tend to be, it's not just trickster energy. I mean, maybe it's trickster energy and that's a little bit of a, like on the lower frequency realm, but anyhow, but I, I, yeah. I had, uh, I had uh, one of my relatives died and I was told that the person was having a lesson with leprechauns. So I went down to visit her, visit the person in Astra. And they thought I was doing a rescue bid. I said, no, nah, no, nah, 
I just came to, to, to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you keep hold. The person wasn't nice. So. Right. Yeah. Yes. And I've heard that my mother has leprechauns visiting her all the time because they like her energy, which means, hello, thank you so much. That's my mother. Great. <laughs> So I try to clear her as much as I can, clear my house as much as I can. But um, they, um, you, yeah. Do you want brings... some oracle cards? Yes, please. One card. Oh. Okay. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Stop. You want one? Two. I did shuffle. Serenity and abundance. So peace of mind is within you and abundance. Arrival of... Uh, Wealth or spiritual growth. Oh, not bad card, bro. Nice. That's and a nice apparently, card. Apparently, we missed somebody. So, Liz, I apologize. Oh. I did not see that you. I haven't seen it. Huh? Oh. Yes. Hello. Hello, Liz. Sorry, I'm here. Hi. I'm new. Just. I never saw your name up there. Maybe it went on private message to. Somebody else, I don't know, but I apologize. I didn't mean to. Did, did you ask for Ealing? I'm sorry? Did you actually ask for Ealing in the chat? Um, I I sent it, I think, to the um, healteachlove.org profile in a direct message, and then I did it again in the everyone. But did yeah, you know? If you did it on the chat, you actually, you did do a message, but you didn't actually say Ealing. Just mention, mention what oh, you were. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Right. That's, that's all right. That's There's people fine. chat on it. And, yeah. <laughs> it, it goes by and uh, right <laughs> we usually have somebody do this for us but this on the australia one it's hard to get somebody at this hour because it, it's just hard right. our next ones our next ones we have somebody do this for us mm -hmm. um okay so let's do a scan and figure out what's going on <laughs> i just got a wicked hot flash the only time I get that is when Archangel Metatron's close to me. So hello, Archangel Metatron. Uh -huh. It's been a long time. I don't know why you're here. Apparently it's because of you. <laughs> Do you have a relationship with Archangel Metatron? Not that I'm aware of. Hmm. He's saying you do and you don't know it. Oh, good. <laughs> You see a lot of numbers, like triple numbers, 111, 222, 333, 555, 1111. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be Archangel Metatron sending you little messages. Oh, so good. Are you a teacher? Have you ever wanted to be a teacher? No. I'm not sure why this is coming up. Maybe you were a teacher in another, another life. Maybe. I'm picking up a bit of stress in your forehead. Mm -hmm. You had some stress lately. So much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> so much stress. <laughs> Keeping hold of it, then. If you keep hold of it, you'll have pain in your neck, shoulders, back. Yeah. Stress doesn't do anything for any of us. And what happens it doesn't, is, doesn't solve your problems either. The pain yeah. in the back and the shoulder and the neck creates more stress. Right. It then feeds and it's just uh, just keeps on going round and round and round. Right. I've been doing my best to not hold on to it, to just kind of go with the flow and not worry about the things I can't control. Is there a teacher in your family? Is there somebody close to you that's a Several. teacher? I'm sorry. They, it won't, won't, you won't let family. it rest. You won't let it rest. Who's a teacher? teacher. Who's um, a teacher? Both, of, both of my parents were teachers. I have a, a sister that's a teacher. Are your parents deceased? Are, you um, are your parents My does, mother is. Does her name start with an M? No. Is this a guessing guy? Uh, J. I'll say J. <laughs> J? No. I want to say you. I want to say your mother. Or maybe. I've only got 24 more maybe guesses. Maybe because it's mother. <laughs> He's trying to let me know your mother's your mother's with you right now. Oh wow! Were you close to her? Um, at the end of her life, yeah, I I was her twenty four hour day caregiver for the last five months of her life. I can see it giving you some flowers, actually. Yeah. Hmm, quite interesting. This is I'm, I'm I keep wondering why he's bringing all this stuff up to me. I mean, it, it's like a, trying to piece a puzzle together. You know, he doesn't come out and tell me everything. He's like, okay, teacher. <laughs> Mother, M word, mother. <laughs> Was it cancer? Mm, okay. Do you have a fear of cancer? Why do I have to piece this together? <laughs> Why don't you just come out and tell me? 
Okay, we're doing healing on your female parts right now, showing me healing. You love to say that in America. Yes, <laughs> cervix. So doing healing on your colon, your pancreas, and your liver. Can you feel the energies? Can I feel the energy? Mm -hmm. that we have? You may not because it's on the inside. Yeah, I'm doing the head though. Um, your intestines and your stomach are also getting healing. Now, this doesn't mean that you have something active going on now. This could be for future. What we see, Rick and I, um, our future, it could be present or future. So this is something that could have happened, could happen in the future. It's not going to happen now. Do you have any complaints that you need specific that you want us to take care of? Um, not specifically. I mean, as far as physically goes, I'm actually feeling healthier and better than I have in years. <laughs> um, I'm kind of curious what you see in around. Um, I am in general just kind of feeling very uh, stuck. I would love to know what if anything, is kind of holding me back. You. Oh, oh good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. That's good. We all hold ourselves back. True. It is. Um, and and the only, what's holding, what holds us back is we're thinking instead of feeling. If you stay in your heart and trust the information that you get, as long as you're, if you're here. And, and what I mean by that is stop letting the ego lead you. This is the one that talks you out of everything. You didn't really hear that message. You didn't really see that. You know, out of the corner of your eye, you see something go by in your house. Yeah, you really did see something. You saw an angel. You saw one of your guides or you saw a fairy go by. It, you did see it. You talk yourself out of it um, or you felt the energy near you. You feel the energy when you walk in a room and you it, or you meet somebody and you automatically know that this is a person you don't want to know you walk away always trust your instincts always trust those messages that's what you trust from here you know we i mean yes yeah, some a lot of times we have to use our our mind and think about certain things but don't let your ego tell you that you didn't see things or you didn't feel things that's where you stay here we have a whole tool chest <clears throat> a whole i mean a huge tool chest here it includes all our past lives, our clairvoyance, our claircognizance, our healing energies, everything. Everybody can be a healer, everyone. And whether you want that gift is up to you. Everybody can channel. It's our birthright. You can channel the archangels. You can channel your higher self. You can channel creator. Whether you use it is up to you. You have to trust that you can do it. That's We are the ones that hold us ourselves back. We talk ourselves out of it. Okay. Well, I, well, I'd recommend, it's up to you if you want to do it, I'd recommend some uh, frequency music, 900 to 1,000 hertz. Gets rid of the stress, and it also manipulates your ego a little bit. So it just takes it away. 900 to 1,000, which is the... Uh, binaural, by, binaural beats. Yeah, third eye, third eye and crown chakras. You want two uh, cards? See, see where your journey should be. Sure. Say stop. Stop. Um, yep. That stop. Yep. She he, she said stop. I did. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is saying uh, freedom and playfulness. So you got to like honor your inner child, have some fun on your journey. You're responsible for that fun, by the way. And freedom. You may feel trapped in prison, but you have the keys to let it all go. Yeah. That's the message you are. You're asking for a message there. And everybody that had everyone that had healing, please remember that if the healing energy stays in you for seven days, drink a lot of water, bless your water by just giving it love. And, you know, and as you're drinking that water, it's, it's loving, you're it's sending love inside of you. So, and um, I want to thank everyone for joining us everyone that's left. <laughs> thank you, Phil, for another beautiful day of energy. Yeah, it's, it's only 25. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys, have a good sleep. I'm tired. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all so much. Much love. Thank you. We have another healing next Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. UK time. And the following week for pets, two weeks from 
two weeks from now for pets, next week is for human. Northern yeah, the, the, these videos go on me and Deb's YouTube, so remember <laughs> to subscribe. Yes. I was just thinking, can I be a human pet? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm a little punchy. It's been a long day. <laughs> I love you. Thank Me. you so much. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Deb. You're welcome. Thank you, Thanks, everyone. Guys. Welcome. So thank, thank you. you. Happy New Year 2023. Yeah. And uh, we will see you again soon. We love you. Uh, oh, energy. Did we start love in 22? We started this in 22, didn't we? <laughs> it yeah. feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Much Good love night. you guys. Sleep well. Beautiful dreams. Bye.